you get a hundred thousand dollars for every random person to smack and grab your ass. How many people are you gonna let <laughs> smack your ass? <laughs> you said if Mr. Beast, Mr. and this is recorded, yeah, so he's yeah. gonna walk, you gonna walk around and be like, "Yo, can you smack my smack and grab my ass?" Yeah. How many people? Every time they do, you get a hundred hundred thousand dollars. Oh yeah. How many people will smack your be ass? A grab fest. How many people is a grab, grab fest? Ass? Unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> any any woman walk past me, they're gonna get a feel. <laughs> every woman. Every woman that walks. Every past woman. Me. Everybody. No, it's crazy. I ain't been on this bitch in a minute. I know. Yeah. Do you think you still got your yes? I don't. I was thinking about it in the car. I'm like, damn, I ain't been on the pod a minute. How long has it been since I've been on the pod? Like a month and a half, two months? Maybe. Probably like a nice episode. Bro, they shadow banned me on the podcast. Hit Nigga said they shadow banned you. <laughs> yeah. No, we did not. Yeah, they shadow banned me, bro. It's just how it is, bro. You no, know, they saw the friction. They saw I was booming. You know, I had the 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 Discord booming. You know, I had the the TikTok booming. So they they yeah, they we're kind of, we're kind of like plateauing. So you know, this is like Weapon X, bro. That's what I'm saying. They they <laughs> niggas want to wait until you. Know what I'm saying to bring the you. Know what I'm saying back here yeah, different. So do you want to start the intro? Or you want me to do it? Of course, I want to start the intro. Or you want to do a competition to see who's better? Shit, go ahead, bro. <laughs> you go first? You go first? You want, you, you yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of No Ranks Podcast, episode number 106. I'm your host, Dido, a.k.a. Darius. I got one of my co-hosts, man. You know him in the building. You see him. He's big. He's black. <laughs> I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. Wait, wait, wait. Intro, wait. No, I, no, 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 I, I thought about it in my head. What, what, that was... Like, that, that was, was crazy. Like, that was pause. That was, that was crazy. That was really <laughs> pause. Like I didn't mean to say that. Yo, like that was crazy. <laughs> there was like I said just said he's big. He's black. That was that was crazy. But I am the biggest and the blackest and the strongest and the mightiest. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, though, y'all know who it is on the mic. Y'all can hear about the voice if you don't watch us on YouTube. The Almighty. Mr. Hey, UJ, you know what I'm saying? What's Welcome going back, brother. on YouTube, TikTok, everything all around. I'm back. It's your boy, the one and only YD, aka YD3, aka Player One, aka the Chosen One. And I'm back on another episode of No Regular Podcast. It's been a minute. It's been maybe two, three years since I've been back, bro. You've been but locked I'm here, up, bro. bro. They, locked up, don't you know what I'm saying? We're going to do a little content when it comes to lock. Y'all going to see, bro. It hit different when I got the ideas. But uh, I got to yeah. stop saying it hit different, too. Shout out FIBJ Main. Uh, but uh, <laughs> for me, another episode of No Regular Podcast. And on my left, we got the one and only, the Oracle, the one who gets it started, the one who gets it done, the one that's the Uda without the gun. You know what I'm saying? We in the building. We in the building. We ready for another episode of No Regulars Podcast. Let's get it started. Man. You know what episode this is? Hey, I don't know. We have guests, though. Go ahead. Um, episode 100 mm. and uh, I'm going to say nine. 109. Nah, a little high. 106. 106. Damn. 106. Episode. That's, that was the first thing I was going to say. Like I said, I know. That's I what I was saying. I was like, uh. I was like, nah, we could be at none. Nah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We episode hit. 106. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. You're new to all the social media accounts. Follow our social down below. Follow our social. If you want to talk to us, DM us. You know, we got people talk to us every day. If you want advice from us, you want us to. You want to talk shit to us about some random takes we have throughout the podcast. Go ahead. I uh, didn't. Bro, come talk to shit. Nah, man, I mean. Bro. Patreon, new pot, the the clips haven't been up there yet, but you know, school started, so we're trying to get into the swing of things. So soon we're gonna have an episode every month type shit. If you want new content, new content coming to the YouTube, like he said, we gonna look like you want some jail content? We might have some jail content. <laughs> yeah. Pause. But you yeah, know what I'm saying? Crazy. But it we got a lot of stuff though. to talk about. But I never asked y'all, how you look how you feeling, bro? I never asked y'all on the pod, like how are y'all feeling? Every day I am blessed, bro. Respect every single bro. day. I'm here, I'm alive. The people I love love me. That's all that matters. That's all that matters, bro. Yes, sir. Real shit, I'm bro. Blessed. Everything going straight, bro. Life Everything going, going well. Well, life is going well for me, and I cannot complain because it could get better or it could get worse. Either way, I we think live. about that a lot too. Like, yeah, you, you ever like whenever I feel like I'm feeling down, I always just think like, dang, somebody in this world, somebody is world going way up. worse, way worse. <laughs> like, I always, somebody in this world fucked up right now. Especially there, so. in, like no, no, no crazy shit. I be walking throughout Newark. I'm like, dang, oh, I just. Like, dang, I like I had a long day. I'm tired of working. All this, that, and third. I'm like, yo, I'm not having a bad day. And then I just see like some random, like, some random like crackhead over on the side. He just look like he he hurt. I'm like, dang. But, bro. Well, it's already crazy when it's like you sitting here thinking, at least I ain't you. 
That's bad crazy. It's not at least I. I it's, <laughs> like, it's not at least I'm not you, but it's like it could be worse. Yeah, not worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, like pray for all the people that is down. You know, it's always it always gets better. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody at the bottom. Nah, for there sure, is for just sure. an area of the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, the bottom is just a mind escape. You just gotta find your way out of it, people. Like, Every I, single day, I, like, bro. I got a question. We are gonna start this podcast off like this, bro. How has 2K24 been for you, bro? How's it been for me? How's it been for you, bro? Um, it's been, it's been, it hasn't been that bad. I, I enjoy it. Like, it's not the worst. Like, I don't think I've been like hate. There'll be some days where I like I get pissed off. That shit's just like annoying. But nah, I just feel yesterday, like yesterday. I asked you because yesterday. Nah, these <laughs> niggas pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas pissed me off on the game yesterday. Yo, no, yesterday no, 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 no. that shit was funny. Like. <laughs> Theirs don't really get mad if it's not like I don't know. He don't really get that mad too often. Like I get mad all the time. He don't really get mad over the game. I don't know what so it was. was crazy. I was just <clears throat> I was I just wasn't having a good day. My head was hurting. And then niggas is just laughing at me. <laughs> I don't know what like and then I'm like, all right, you know, Corey, Corey, Ty, uh, not Corey, UJ and Tyrone, they just laughing, they just making fun of the pocket, like, alright, whatever. No, wait, wait, what did we say? I was saying like, cause I was I asked you what time you coming over to podcast, and I was like, oh, that's Darius' way of like saying, oh, remember you got a podcast tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> niggas is weird. So I was like that. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I'm just hearing this nigga course, like, yo, why don't you fight you fight back, bro? I'm like, bro, what's there to fight back? Exactly and then this nigga right. makes a random joke that nobody gets but, yeah, him. but him. So I'm yeah. like, all right, bro, like what's what's the point of that? Yeah, that was crazy. I'm he like, just, nobody. He just wanted to double it. Honestly, at that that's why I'm like, all right, bro. And I was like, you know, I don't want to play no more, bro. I'm tired. Of, we was playing wreck against niggas. That's like playing zone i'm only yeah. getting like i'm freaking i'm just running around and shit i'm just like i don't want to play against these wreck niggas yeah, bro yeah. that should be too we won, annoying we won the game though we did but after you after you got off tyrone hopped on and we got smacked really yeah wait the tyrone was like i should got off with dairy <laughs> you only played one game yeah we only played one after that after we we lost bad like what by like I 30 mean, I, I tweaked out i dropped 30 so how much did fritz have like four points fritz got locked <laughs> fritz got locked is Tyrone good at 2K? He was hitting his shots. That's all that matters. Oh, he was? Yeah. So what is he, like a 3 and D? Like, what is he, bro, small he forward? He's just pure defense. But just... you know he's weird, bro. <laughs> I want you to think about Tyrone's mind in a 2K player. That nigga just... You know what it is? It's brainwashed. Yeah. Bro, like, he, he's been brainwashed since coming to Rutgers to work, bro. Like, he literally made a pure defensive player. Bro, when I tell you, this nigga walked up to me... Cause I was in my office today, and like they had a uh, they had um workouts and shit, mm-hmm. and they they play open gym. And he said, and he he's a uh, he's a coach now and shit. So he walked in there and he was like, "Yo, Darius, bro, like sometimes I'll be watching them. I just want to coach them or whatever because like I can't watch it. I'm like, what do you mean you can't watch it? I'm like, are they just taking bad shots? I'm like, it's open gym. He's like, nah, it's not even that. He's like, niggas just not on the basket line. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck is yeah. wrong with you? I'm like, yo, are you deranged? Yeah. He's like, bro, like they just nobody's helping playing defense. I'm like, no way, this this man got you thinking like this. Yes, yeah. Like, yeah. nah, he's sick in the ring, bro. Bro, I remember his freshman year. I knew it was gonna be bad, but I didn't think it was gonna get like this. Cause I remember he was about to quit basketball, and now he's a coach. It's a crazy, it's a crazy turn yeah. of events. So I remember freshman year, right? There was a poster like um. Our GA, he made a big, like, poster for, like, the um, basketball team. Mm-hmm. Like, he had all our pictures on it. And then he had, like, um, <clears throat> he had, like, the schedule of it. It was mad nice. Mm-hmm. And then Tyrone and them put it up in a lot in a room. And every time they went to it, they had to do high hands. <laughs> every time they walked past lying, the, I swear to God. Every time they walked past the post, they go like this. High hand. Every time. <laughs> every single time, bro. They chopping the feet? Yes, they chopping the feet every time. <laughs> and it was, I don't know if it was on a door or if it was like on the ceiling, and if you like walk under it, you just gotta look up and just start doing it. It was re- it was nah, really weird. Niggas chopping the feet, chopping the feet, hot, yelling, hot. I head. know niggas not doing that in front of the gals. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. But I wouldn't be surprised, bro. No I wouldn't be surprised, bro. But nah, Tyrone, Tyrone's sick in the head, bro. He's really. I never no knew it would get like this. Nah, he, bro. We literally we were sitting there arguing for about an hour and a half about the shit we was talking about in the chat. What? Oh, I, I, mean, yeah. I forgot y'all was in the same shit. Yeah, but literally, are you, we could bring that up, too. We could go ahead. Hey, bro. So, I could. Yeah. I, <laughs> you want to tell them what the, the, the argument was? The question was, right, if your girl, Darius, has a girlfriend, Tyrone was in a relationship, Fritz in a relationship, there's a few members of the podcast that's in a relationship, and it happens to me, me and Corey, who- Are be horny in, niggas. Uh, no. Who be in- <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Several situationships. So we've seen the same shit they seen, but they are gonna discredit it because we ain't put a a title to it. No, but say the say the question that you said. The question was, 
if your girlfriend becomes what's the proper term? Paraplegic. But go go with the you want to go with the paraplegic? Wait, is it paraplegic? I think it might be paraplegic. Or if your girlfriend become a vegetable, bro, she become the veggie, bro. Are you staying? What about the wheelchair one? The wheelchair one is calm. Nobody disagreed with that. Okay, okay. The, that the wheelchair one, everybody was on the same page. Okay, it was the veggie. But the one. Veggie one is when niggas have you lost me right then and there. That's <laughs> when I don't believe you. Because what? I feel like that's equivalent to like, yo, me personally, me, right? Yeah. Because niggas are like, oh, would you want your girl to stay? I'm like, no. Why? That's so selfish for me to say or for me to want you to be with me when I can't attend to you the same way I was. You going based off the past and based off what could have been. That's so selfish. See, I can't even interact with you. I understand that. But it's like, like me to me neither. If I was me in that situation, I wouldn't want her to care for me. But if she does, then that shows how much she do love me for real. Because it's the same thing as it like this. Like, like I know we not, me and Jay not married, nothing like that. But it's like, I look to her as like, she will be my wife one day. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you could like, it builds over time that like, you want to be with this person forever, all that shit. And like, you make like certain like commitments. And like, you know, in marriage, like through sickness and health, you got to be by your person. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So God forbid some ba- something bad happens or whatever. And like, she ends up in that situation, whatever. Mm. I will be by her side to t- to take care of her. Amen. Because I know it's 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 gonna be rough. Mm. It's gonna be rough because it's like now she's it's a whole nother it's a whole new ballgame I'm never used to. Okay, but, but it's look, like though, I'm gonna keep it a G stack forty thousand. I understand. If that's my girlfriend, nigga, it's D. <laughs> but it's that's like, not my wife. Even though I could want to potentially marry you, right? Yeah, yeah. Think yeah. about it like this, right, guy? I'm twenty four. Right? Yeah, young nigga, bro. Twenty four years old. I want to spend the rest of my life with somebody, right? Yeah, I'm gonna spend fifty years doing that. Since you a young nigga, you still want to go out, chill. You still want to do all that. Y'all niggas don't even live together. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. You know what I'm saying, but it's like we've been together for what about to be five years now. Yeah. So it's like it's just that I would feel like. I would feel so crazy to leave after like shit goes left like that. I, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm I saying? won't say completely leave and exit her life because this is a person you still care for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But to say that y'all gonna be like this and this, that's still your girlfriend, that's crazy. To go the rest of your life not being able to feel the same way. How don't they, bro? I'm cool. I'm not gonna... Because me personally, right, Kyle? Yeah. If I go to jail... For some shit, and I go 15 years, 20 years, and I'm with somebody. If that woman is not the mother of my child or raising my family or my wife, I don't expect her to be there. Well, she was your girl for like four or five years. Yeah, go ahead, bro. I'm, I'm really? going. I'm 20 years because I'm damn near gone. If you decide that you want to stay and come back, that's that's on you. Okay, so but that's, I, that's, it's a li- completely 100,000% on you. So I if it was, so it. if it was the other way around, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the outside And she's locked up For 15, Nigga, 20 I'm fucking some Alright what if she What if like you did something And she took the blame for it 15, 20 years I wouldn't do that I wouldn't even allow that But like what if like keep it What if like it just happened so quick Like you can't even do nothing about it I would, I would still confess I would oh, still I confess about it no Yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't do that either I wouldn't do that either Yeah I wouldn't let that's no That's crazy But either. you would really Like 15, 20 like, 15, 20 years I'm fucking so <laughs> You're bugging out Now I might My heart could stay with that woman That's a possibility That my heart could stay You'll with that not, woman You'll beat that bro But 20 years And then And they would say You and Corey You're just horny No we're realistic nah, 20 years is, I'm gonna be by myself You like to act like like sex don't matter in a relationship. I didn't and say it's so it don't. crazy to me. I don't say it don't, but it's like you got like we, like, like I want to tell you when you you get to a point where it's just like it's not gonna happen all the time. Get the fuck out like, of here! Like, never get to that. Like, look, yeah, look, 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 look. <laughs> I'm not saying like I said. You know me, cause yeah, it's not yeah. the number one priority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's shit number two though. Yeah, I understand. It's like not I'm, not, I'm not bad at you. If I link a girl, it's not to. The first thing we try to do is to rump. That's yeah, not yeah, it. Nah. But, but I'll be damned if the second <laughs> <laughs> I'll be damned if the second thing ain't the mission, huh? Hey, bro. Like I heard like it's just like it's just I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just me though. Cause I, I just think that as a as for me, 
if anything like like say certain thing that like that in that situation i just gotta like man up and just like you know deal with it like i made a promise made me made a commitment whatever circumstances happen whatever it's just that you gotta deal Ro- with it rose reverse though you think she she thinks she'll stay yeah i think she'll stay I think she'll stay. It's the heat. <laughs> <shot, nigga. laughs> I don't think nobody would do that. Especially, bro, think about it like this. Would you want her to? I wouldn't want her to. Okay. Like, I wouldn't. Like, it's like, like, that's a, like, I, like, I don't expect the things I do, she to do, for her to do. Mm. Sometimes, even though sometimes I do expect it because that's just me. But, yeah. so, but I realize, I know, like, I realize, like, over the years, that's like, you can't put those expectations on somebody mm-hmm. because they're not you. You know what I'm okay, saying? That's real shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I, like, say I do the same thing, do this one thing, I expect her to do that thing. But, like, I can't do that because if she don't, then it's like, dang, like, it just makes me change, like, think about other shit. But it's like, you got to realize, like, like, she, I wouldn't want her to do that. Mm-hmm. But if she does, then she really, then that is really, that's real love, bro. No, it's, not, it's, it's either re- but like it's not like if it's not if it's not me saying but she just does it to herself like i wouldn't want her to like if i'm if i'm not there to provide protect all that stuff that's like literally delusion and dummy it's not delusion you, and, but look though but like if that's your wife y'all been together for 30 40 plus years 25 whatever it makes sense yeah you know what i'm saying y'all done ventured y'all done seen the world together y'all done been through several ups and downs and yeah okay you know what, what if what if it was like i just it was just like newlywed whatever i just married her like and then something some happens you know what i'm saying <laughs> like damn but life life hit different that's so what that life could is, be a possibility that's what i'm saying but i'm a i'm a i'm gonna tell my hopefully whoever married me she see this shit <laughs> because i just feel like say you get like i would i would be there for you yeah but I may not be that one for you. I'm gonna be honest. You may because, not be that one for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be there for you though. Mm. Like you still, you'll still have me in your life, like it was before. But even so, it'll still be difficult to be that person. Is in your it life. just the coochie? Or is no, it just- it's not the coochie. It's not only the coochie, <laughs> bro. That's not all I think about, cuz. I'm talking about like. So what if she, what if she just paralyzed from the neck down? She can speak. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. It would still be selfish of her to think that the situation would be just as good as it was. It's harder. It's more difficult. Okay, it's more difficult, but it's like now it's like you're still that person is still there. I'm 24, cousin. I understand. But now she has to deal with all that herself. By no, herself? Nigga, I ain't her fucking mama, daddy. I never said you are, but it's but just like now. She's, it's not about, she's not alone. She got a fucking family. Not, not to cuss like that. She got a fucking family. Like, ain't I'm your boyfriend, not your husband. Yeah. Here's a different. I and know. that's why I keep telling you, titles bring different kind of expectations yeah, and yeah. requirements. That is true. You know that what I'm saying? That is true. So it's like, you not performing when she's hurt like that. You my husband. Why won't you do that? Then he look at you weirdly? Now they looking at you crazy. But like, what if like the family look at you as like you are the next, like you are going to be? You just never ask the question. Like I said, that title right there is a big jump. A it big is a big difference. jump. Yeah, I know it is a big jump. What even outside people going from me want from y'all is completely different. What they going to expect from you to do? I don't Think know. Think about the energy that her dad probably. No, you you started off as her when you met her parents. She was already her boyfriend, right? Nah. Really. Mm-mm. So what's the energy from when you met her as the friend Darius to the boyfriend Darius? Like, what is their energy? Yeah. They probably just like, hey, hey you know. Like right now or no, like? No, I'm saying from when you first met them, they probably like, you know, yeah. they don't really give a fuck. Yeah. But I, once you got that title of we locked in, they like, okay. This yeah, is what I, I get what you mean. But I, I don't know. I just, I don't think I could. I, feel, I would really feel like. I just feel like so less of something, bro. Like I would just be you like, would feel like a bad. I just person, I just bro. ran away. Like I don't like running away from shit. Like I know when shit get hard. Like I'm hard headed, bro. Like when shit get hard, I I will find way. I like run through shit. Like Acre, it sound good. It do, like, bro. It sound real nice, just and just you know straight out of a fucking fairy tale book. But in reality, that shit is hard to deal with. It is hard to now deal with. Now you sitting there, she fucking around, poop on herself. You gotta go. I clean that shit up. You got, which is not crazy because older age, that shit gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. And my wife better wipe that ass. You not gonna wipe her ass? Nah, wipe her ass. Okay. Fuck. But I'm my wife. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
But if I done been with you two years, okay, two years. That's that's I understand. That's understandable from you. Like I, I wouldn't like I wouldn't like say nothing. But it's just, if it's like going on like four, five, six, you like you about to marry her soon, but you just waiting for shit to go left and right, and then mm-hmm. boom, this shit happens. It's like dang. Like, now you're just gonna bro. a bit like oh it's over it's over, it's over off bro. the rip because now things the shit that I imagine in my head for things to be now changes but like she's just paralyzed from the neck down like she just she still talk, she's still her personality she just can't move bro Gucci work <laughs> nigga said the Gucci work <laughs> work bro. hey bro I don't know it might not work for the first couple of years ah uh, that's a, but hey if she let me because I. Was, you love the person for who they are and not what they got. That's what I'm saying. So I still be there, but if she says that I can't go outside and go bust some ass, I'm going. <laughs> God, that coochie don't work, nigga. Would, nigga would have failed the test, bro. <laughs> hey, but look though, the coochie don't work. Uh huh. And you telling me I can't go see some? I'm a man at the end of the day, you know. Naturally, us men, you know. Of course. We want to see what's what's to it. Of course. Naturally. Naturally. That's how like, it is. we can't even control that, you know what I mean? Hey, I hey, I understand. But it's like you gotta I don't know. They, maybe that's just me, but like I would Girls really... have a lot more might. So if we get paralyzed with the neck down, they'll fuck oh, around yeah. and not ever fuck nobody ever again. I mean that's just like some. Yeah. They're different. It it uh. do. <laughs> <laughs> it do. There's some, but it's like that's what I'm saying. Like I just I don't know. For me, I feel like I really like too thick and thin, bro. I really do anything for this girl, for real. Like honestly, it sounds like, good. Gen- like it do sound like genuinely, I would like. Yeah, but you know they say love is blind, bro. It is. But nigga, I got the vision. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna. <laughs> niggas is not catching me lacking like that. Like, hey, bro. not to say it's lacking, but it's just not real, not realistic. Hey, bro. And it's just not fair. It's not fair, bro. God forbid, hey, for God the people forbid, that, though. God forbid, though, you know what I'm saying? God but forbid, to all the people that, that, because I do be seeing people that be having those, that be in those situations and yeah. shit like that. If my girl get in a wheelchair accident, I'm still there. Yeah, okay. I'm living. We we still together. We just going on a ramp on the side. We going on a ramp. But, uh. Like, I think I would find ways to make shit fun. Yeah, we got fun shit to make shit fun. You feel me? Find ways to, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to get. Niggas, <laughs> niggas is crazy. It's like no, nah, it's like no, nah, it's like no. Nah. But it's not like no nah, at the same time. <laughs> at the same time, at the same it's same not. Time, it's Look at that like, serious. Nah. We gonna figure out a way to make shit work. Exactly. But if things get rock, yeah, I'm out. I'm nah, I, I don't think. Like, I feel like when that's what that's what, yo, that's what I'm saying. Like, once you get past the rocky, like you realize like shit, like in a relationship, shit do get rocky. Mm-hmm. Like it, it will get rocky, and this shit's gonna be weird. But you just got to hold on and just hope, not hope, but just know that everything's going to be all right in the end. And that's why, that's why love is also a two-way street, bro. Mm-hmm. You could love somebody and they not love you back, then you look like a simp. No, that, no, no. I feel no. like, look, in a way, though, as in like, not as a, look as a simp, but it's like, you could do stuff for a person, you could love on a person, but if they don't love you back, then it just, it, I don't think that would work out. You look fucking dumb. What? You look dumb. You if, look dumb, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but I feel like you could still be looking like a simp from somebody who loves you. You think so? Hell yeah. But like, isn't that a way of like oh wait, can you move your like mic over to you? Like, oh, no. fuck. Are you straight? Uh, oh, you knocked the thing out. Oh, you straight, you straight. Say something real quick. Nigga, you not speaking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like I just feel like I like I don't think if like I just think that, like, like, give me an example of, like, how if you both okay, two people uh, love so each other. Say she loves him, but she can't provide the same way he can provide. Meaning, like, her ends ain't like his ends, you know. So is that simp? He'll be a simp if he does all that. He stuff? just keep while she's not putting a best foot forward. I mean, I don't think that's a simp though, because. Because you got to think about it, though. Like, I told you. like So, I, no, I'm saying she's not motivated to get her bread up. Oh, she's not motivated. Like she's she not motivated even, to get her oh, bread up. Oh. And he see, just, because they love each other so much, see, he just I don't like think, a fucking jackass. See, I don't think that's, nah, I don't think that's going to love him then. I don't think I don't think if you love somebody, you would let them, because, like, you know, that's like a sign, like, acts of service and shit like that. That's like an mm-hmm. actual, like, love language or whatever. And I feel like it's, Who got that? What? <laughs> it's like 
for me, for me at least, like I always like for Jay, like I wouldn't want her to pay for most shit. Like even though she, but like she offers to mm-hmm. pay for some things, but I'd be like, nah, like I got it. Or like she asks to like question. What are you doing that because you, or even in the beginning stage, because you felt like, yeah, she she not really wanting to pay, but I'm gonna show like you feel me. I think type shit. I think it's just the the nigga ego in me, bro. Yeah, like, like it's is just it, like is it really you being like, yo, I really want to spend this this sixty five. In the was it? it was like nah, I think it I think it is though. Like yeah. I think it was. It's like um, it's like if I see something that I think will make her happy, I will get it. Like even if something little. Like I, I t- like like she loves giraffes, and like whenever we go to like rest Fuck them giraffes. <laughs> Whenever we go to like, <laughs> <laughs> whenever we go to like rest stops or whatever, uh-huh. there'd be like little plush toys. And if I see like a little draft, like a dollar, like I'll buy some shit like that for mm-hmm. like, as like a, like a token or whatever. But it's like for certain things as like in like food or whatever, or, or buying or stuff, mm-hmm. like, I just think that's just a way of like making her, like want her to see her happy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, I want like, I like, she wants to do that for me, but it's like, nah, like I'm, I'm good, but I just want to do that for you. As a sense, like sometimes I, I, I feel like I'm going a little overboard, but it's just like, like even I be in my mind like, yo, it's just like, like I be thinking I have like an addiction sometimes, but like I had to like reel it in a little bit. See, and that's what I'm saying. And that, that's the difference between you and some people like me and Corey, right? Mm-hmm. Where it's like, this is, this is kind of your stop, right? Yeah. So. I would, I wouldn't fully be on that with somebody because I, I don't. I done seen how it could maneuver. So I got a I also a avenue. I also thought that I was I would do this be as a way because I used to think like like if I do certain things like or I would see people do it or I think about it, I would like I'd be like, yo, why like why am I really doing this for like and it'd be like in one instance it would be like, um Am I doing this just so she has reasons not to leave? Mm. You know what I mean? Damn, that's the worst kind of thing. That's what I'm saying. That's the worst kind of thinking. Yeah, it's like, oh, am I just doing all these nice things? And it's like, if I ever stop doing it, she's going up and leave. Mm. You know what I mean? That's real shit, though. That is real shit. That's yeah. what a lot of people. That's what I think a lot of people try not try not to do that. Maybe or like they they get stuck in like a sense because that's why it might look like a sip because if she's like starting to fall out of love a little bit and you're still doing it and you're just mm. trying to do it and you, it's like you're like. Hanging on by a thread, but every time you keep doing something nice like that, it just like adds a little bit more. But if you stop, it just starts slipping again. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's why you gotta find like everybody. I, like I feel like everybody do have their person, and you gotta like find your person that's like you know. Even though you are doing this stuff for me, like I could do this for myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But like even though she know she knows she could do it by herself, and she always asks to. But that's like nah, like I I got this. Yeah, that's you know that's I mean? the that's the man that's the man ego there. Yeah, that's the really man ego. Yeah. It is man ego. Like I be I be in the gym. Remember that shit you told me when I looked it. Nigga was like, "Yo, you better lift that weight so you can protect your family." That's what I'm that's saying, what, bro. That's real motivation. That's though. real motivation, <laughs> bro. You gotta think about the story, like, like yo, a nigga walk up to your wife and son, and he yelling in her face, and you like, dude, just calm down, <laughs> just calm down. You can't buck up with him because you some little nigga. That's what I'm saying. Come on, now. hey fellas! I promise you, niggas have change their energy, how they speak to you. If hey. you looking like what you supposed to look like, you don't even have to know how to rumble. You just gotta be, you know, stern. And you gotta be look a little strong. Stern, like you know, what I'm saying, you gotta have a, a structured body, like type shit, bro. Hey, that's that, about. that's that motivation. I was pushing the weight, bro. Every time you gotta think about it. I hate niggas ain't sick shit to my kid. <laughs> type shit, bro. Hey, bro, but nah, that's that's why that's what I be thinking about a lot, like. It's like I would really do like a lot to protect her mm-hmm. and do things for her. And it's just like her like I don't know if she knows that, but like I would really like especially when we get older and we get crazy, like I would really be that protector that would, Nah, she knows that. She's not yeah. she's not dumb. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's just like Yeah, yeah like yeah. I realize over time, like <laughs> it's like you gotta you gotta step up you know what i'm saying like you gotta like growing up you gotta step up like doing certain things i feel like so that's a lot of things that's the issue with our generation too is that niggas will say that they want their girl to submit 
they want their girl to be uh, like submissive and shit like that, yeah. but not be that leader yeah. or not be that vocal person or not be that example mm -hmm. for them to want to. Naturally, they're going to do it. Yeah. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, Real shit. if you're speaking the way you're supposed to speak, if you dressing the way you're supposed to address, you know what I'm saying? If you, your money the way it's supposed to be. So sometimes saying. you don't even have to have all the money in the world, bro. You just got to be a certain person. Just a certain kind of caliber of nigga, bro. Real shit, bro. You're different, bro. Dang, just, just be me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. And I feel like I feel like the, a lot of the social media and the music is changing these niggas, Oh, yeah, bro. for sure, for sure. I, yo, for sure. I wanted to talk about this for a while. And I told Fritz on the in the party, bro. Where did the R&B music go, bro? Nigga, it didn't go nowhere. No, it, it, I, it yo, didn't go nowhere. The mainstream music, The only music, thing though. it did was get less mainstream. But there's, that, there's some artists that I could put you the fuck on. Please. And be like, yo. I'm tired. Because you know you the love and music kind of guy, bro. Bro. Me, I got that. Yo, Fritz was playing that work that Alicia Keys. I'm like, yo, yeah. why don't girls sing like they this don't, no bro, more, you bro? you not looking at the right places, bro. But Somebody like, named Cleo Soul, Snow Allegra. But like, think about it like this, bro. Back in the early 2000s, in the clubs, they was playing all that love music in the club yeah, they bro was. That's why now they playing the cool club, slow ground and niggas shit. is playing now niggas is playing gucci i don't want to hear sexy yeah. red talk about yeah, these that dildos shit crazy and gucci, bro. but i'm not gonna lie i was at the club and sexy red was playing <laughs> that shit was busting no, <laughs> my bro. brother that shit was busting no i don't say hell kids srts i'm in that bitch like oh, <laughs> oh nigga <laughs> I shit, wow. Bro, I, like if a nigga if a nigga would have got locked up in 2005, he come out now and go in the club, you like, what the fuck, the fuck is, is this? this? Yeah, first of all, he like, what the fuck is the swag? He got locked in 2005. Oh, yeah. It's coming back a little bit. Niggas starting to wear baggy, yeah, baggy shit. shit again. Niggas starting to wear, but it's like, but, yo, um, I'm tired of the coochie. No, no. Here I, about, I'm not a big fan of coochie rap. Me neither. Who started that shit, Meg? Nah. It was um City Girls? Nah, I don't know. That shit started a long a time A long time ago, ago, but like mainstream, though. Cause this Even yo, them, Lil Kim has some coochie yeah. music, but she could rap though. That, that's what I'm, so I'm talking about. Just straight, straight coochie, like straight, straight coochie, coochie music. music, bro. Straight coochie music, bro. Uh, I can't bump that shit. That you seen that new sexy red with Lotto and shit. I was, I think, but, I think WAP introduced coochie music to the world, <laughs> like mainstream coochie music. I think WAP like, did it. They, like WAP was even that bad compared to this. No, no, no. WAP is bad, bro. The, did you hear? You would let your daughter sing WAP? Oh, no. WAP is bad, bro. But I would not let her sing that sexy rest song, the, the Nut of My Coochie, bro. Yeah, that shit Pause. is crazy. That shit is wild. Yeah. That is like, I know, bro. But that shit hit. No, it don't hit. That shit. Play, let that shit play loud on the speaker. You like, damn. What song you the talking? The beat just so crazy. <laughs> She came in hell, cast, SRTs, what it when it did on me. I'm like, damn. <laughs> no. And then God. that that song with the MC Vert shit. What? The one I'm broke, fuck you, oh that man, that motherfucker, oh that man. <laughs> no. Yo, I'm like, I hate sexy rap, I'm not gonna lie. Yo. Like I don't like the I don't like the you feel the me, the image? image too much. Yeah. But you can't deny I hit what you hear or hit. Man. Oh my gosh, I'm, bro. Hey, I'm a music guy. You can't deny I know, it when you, when you hear oh my. It's just, That shit is a hit, bro. Like, when do you think we ever gonna get the R&B on mainstream again, bro? Bro, it's on mainstream. It's you not just that not, much. I mean, no, it's, it's not, not, it's not, not on mainstream. mainstream. I'm, I'm capping. You know what I mean? But it's still there. Do you still? I got, I'm gonna send some shit to you. Hey, send some shit to me, bro. It's still I be, there, bro. I, I be like, it's like, and it's like this is what all the kids listen to. Imagine the kids in, in middle school listen to this shit, bro. The girl, bro, then I'm telling you, the next, the next five, group, six years of women. Probably thotties. Thotties. Oh, my God. That shit is so bad, bro. Like, Lomel age coming up. Oh, it's so bad, bro. Free them kids, bro. Yeah, them boys won't know what hit them, bro. They going to be like, at what? at the same time. It's good? They up. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, niggas up. Like, I don't know, You got to think about it. Our age, these girls is trying to be like, they ain't want to be hoes. Yeah. They didn't want to be classified as a whole. They didn't want to. They, they shy and shit. <laughs> These girls coming up, they not gonna be shy. Them boys is up. They about to fish. Huh? They about to fish or get fished? Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they they start uprising, bro. But even though like, so I, I had another question. Like, do you think female rappers like fly niggas out? Like how? Like male rappers fly women out. I hope so, cause the like <laughs> podcast going up. Hold up. <laughs> like, like, like a like a person like uh, like um, what's it called? Lotto. Like, I ain't going front. So, I'm already plotting. We ain't rich yet, but I promise you, I'm plotting. You plotting on? Who? I'm already plotting on who? Ira Star. You ever heard of her? She's a uh, Nigerian uh, act, uh, not actor, uh, uh, singer. 
Ni- Naira Star. Ira Star. Ira Star. Yeah. I think I heard the name. Wait, so she's on your radar, bro? She's on my radar. Watch, bro. Don't don't let don't let this shit hit billions. Hit billions? You're getting married. This one with the braids? With the braids. Don't let that shit hit me. You be getting. You, she gonna fly you out? Nigga, I, do you hey, think they? You think they I'm really do that? I'm gonna fly out and bring it to Newark, bro. Nah, she gotta fly you out, bro. Hey, it hit different when she about to come spend time in Newark. Like, bro. do you think they really do that? I don't think they do that. I don't think they do that. No, I think. I feel like that's like because the standard is different from the rich, the rich world. Why you say that? Because now there's the whole like Lotto and them. They have the whole thing of not dealing with niggas with a nine to five. Ah. You got to fly a nigga out who is, you don't, but it's different kind of preparation. Like, I got to be to work on Monday. I can't sit here and chill <laughs> with you every day. So okay. they're used to a different kind of nigga. Ah. Like a nigga that can stay up with them all the time and be in what a if crib it was just like a good, What if it was just like a scammer nigga? But he could probably fly himself out then. A scammer nigga, probably. But mm. it, it got to be a high level scammer nigga. If level. it's a regular scammer nigga, bro. That make that nigga is making the same amount of bread we making. He just don't go to he just don't, don't go, go to work. work. Yeah. Uh, makes sense. Makes sense. He just don't go to work. I, like I was it. always just thinking about like, yo, do they really fly niggas out? Cause like it's what, like, cause what I feel like I am really hoping for is though, is the WNBA players to be following following flying niggas out. That's what I need, bro. <laughs> that's you need. That's what them, I need. You, you know need I like them. them. The six three. You know I like them. Hooper hoes, you know, I like, you know, I like the hooper. Nigga hoes. likes girls that is six four and like. I don't mind, bro. The six four. I'm is not crazy. afraid, niggas. Niggas' egos and pride be in the way when it comes to tall women. Yeah. I am here. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I nigga, a girl tall. Yeah, I know, but like, she not six four. Hey, bro, it's different, bro. She gotta grow. <laughs> <laughs> like Jay, like five six, five like, seven. I like short girls too. Yeah. But if you got to think, I've, I've said this, I don't know if I ever said this on a pod, but I'm trying to create specimens. Oh, yeah. Like you trying so to. So <laughs> there's almost no way in this world that my wife would be under 5'8 or 5'7. Five, seven. So 5'7 five, and a half, the shortest. So the shortest. So your, your wife going to be at least 5'9. No. Or at, at least 5'7 five, five, seven seven and a half. But what will you want it at? Like, what well, is a I good want height that you want? 5'8. Five, 5'8? Eight. Five, eight? Five, from 5'8 five, to 6 foot. foot. To 6 foot? Yes. Well, cause you like six three, so that's fine. Yeah. So that's that ain't too bad. Niggas on the niggas that watch the pod think we short. That's so funny. You hating over there? Oh, I thought she was hating over there because <laughs> you said I was six three and she looked at me crazy. I hate different. <laughs> but like you know, niggas be thinking we short on this pod. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start keep sitting like this, tall and shit. <laughs> but at the same time, we be leaning back in the chairs. That's and what shit. I'm saying. We be comfy, but yeah, like, nah, nah, we, we, we ain't talk, short talk people. Talk we ain't, so. we ain't like because like you know because niggas that be in like the limelight and shit like that. Yeah, they, they be, be little short, as fuck, yeah. like little pump and like X and fucking all, trippy. All rap. rappers are short. Yeah, you, know, you rarely see a tall rapper. There's probably ten of them niggas. Mm-hmm. But for sure though, a WNBA player? WNBA gals, hit me up, bro. Hey, bro. There's one. Her name like Michaela something. You talking about that six eight girl that no, was no, that was no, putting no. niggas in the post? No, 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 no. Hey, give me one of them too. That puts you in the post. You want? Yeah, hey, I want to be in the post, bro. Put that back on that boy. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga say he wants to get put in the post. I don't. Bro. I like. I'm not afraid. Like I am. You know who who motivated me though? My son John. John <laughs> John motivated me because John is like cool five foot two. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know if he's he not five two, but he like he's I, like five five. He five five. Five six. He gonna lie. But he like five five. He like say five. But five. he don't care. Like he has no fear of no women. <laughs> no fear of the being trees. taller than him. No fear. He like, climb trees. He climb mountains. Like he don't care because he like him a little thick. So you know what I'm saying <laughs> he climb mountains. So I do like I'm like he right. What the fuck niggas afraid of? I I don't know, bro. It's just <laughs> all it is it is, is the- extra. They got extra legs. Extra, you know what I'm saying? It's extra. You think you ever try to pick somebody up? Who me? No, John. Oh yeah, yeah. I know he has. <laughs> I know he has. He's, he's, he is ego though. His but his ego is different. His ego is I could conquer that giant. He gonna throw his back. Up I with. pick up all my tall bitches too. I be picking them up. I mean, you bigger though. Yep, and, and that's why it makes because they not even used to that. Oh, they not used to somebody because they tall and probably. Most niggas be like five nine, yeah. five ten, so they used to they not used to somebody picking them up like this and hoisting them above their head. They not they never seen that. You've done that before several times. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, 
Hey. I promise you to God. <laughs> See, like a like a like a footer. Five bro? ten. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like a footer, bro. No, I ain't never had a footer. She like five ten, five eleven. Though that I did it. I'm chatting too much on this podcast. <laughs> you are. That's good, <laughs> bro. Yo, Yo. I'm glad today, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. bro. You got me too comfortable in this bit. All right, but let me let me ask you a question then, so Yo, we can get. Cragging. So, would you rather? Live in a bunker by yourself, but you have everything you need except Wi-Fi for 10 years. Or you have to survive in the wild for five years with three people and you only get a couple things to survive with. So I got to... Am I in that? You said I have everything I need. Yeah. I need me a bag. Nah, it's so, just you by yourself. <laughs> you, you don't got no bag. You baddie. said I got everything I need, so I need me a bag. You get the pocket, um, bro. You said what? You get the pocket rocket, the bro. The blow up, John? I mean, I <laughs> no, no, the uh, pocket rocket, bro. Nah, yo, I see the <laughs> shit. That's like the two hair shit that just be moving. <laughs> hey, I bro. can see that. But first of all, no, 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 I'm not doing it. Bro. I'm a fucking, I'm a general. I'm not doing it. Uh, ten years, bro. Ten years. But you get it's everything is comfortable. You got food. You can watch TV. All that shit. You could just, I could I link up with the bros on the game? Nah, there's no Wi-Fi. Damn. You, just, you just got no connection to the outside. And world. then you said five people. You get you get you you have to survive in the wild with three people for five years, but you get like limited supplies, like you know, like a tent, a knife, and like some you water. Said three people for five years. Three people for five years. Yeah, give me that. You gonna get, you gonna do that? Yeah. We gonna pick. Who who who's the three people you gonna pick? Um. It could be anybody. I need. You said three people. Yeah. I need two baddies and one bro. Two baddies. <laughs> <laughs> Two baddies and one, bro. Yeah. So, like, are you and bro going to switch with the baddies, or you each get one baddie nah, for five years? we each get one baddie. I put on for the guys. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we each get one baddie, bro. Niggas going to be fucking in the woods, bro. Hey, bro. In like, the we got to enjoy something. Like, women bring diversity. That's that's what it is. We not that's, wor- what, that's the excuse. We, you we not worry about the eats. Women bring diversity. <laughs> you not bro. worry about, bro, you got to hunt the food. No, no, no. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Schmagging that shit. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. We worry about the, you know, the different storylines that's going to be created with the women there. <laughs> so, yeah. so you would never pick, like, like three survivalist niggas that you know will be straight. The baddies are survivalists. And then... The They're bro, survivalist baddies? Yeah. There's this thing as survival baddies? Yeah, bro. They be on them TV shows. They the don't be baddies. Shit. What's the naked shit? They don't be baddies. Fuck it, my nigga. You just go. You just need, <laughs> niggas just be woman. Just, hey. You just need one woman. You just need a woman. I'm not about to be out there with three beefs. That shit dead, <laughs> bro. That shit's dead. I'm not about nah, to that is true. That is true. Bro. I think I would do that, though. Yeah, bro. With two baddies? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Get the fuck away from <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bree J though. Yo, no, no, no. That's booty. That's booty. Maybe it's booty. She not gonna help you. My fault, Jay. She not gonna help you. Though. She will help me. What is she gonna do? Complain? No. It's different. No. no mental. Me- <laughs> huh? Mental. Stis- we say you one of the best that ever. <laughs> like we say, like nobody more perfect for my bro. <laughs> huh? Nah, I said five five years in a five years in the woods. He has to survive with three people. Yes, he, he gets to pick three people. He says he's picking two baddies and a and a boy and his and his boy. And I you. said I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna be five. I'm gonna go with the woods too. But I'm gonna bring you with me. Exactly. She not even trying to rob, bro. What you mean? She gonna be there for she me not, mentally. Don't. You gotta think of your your. You know what I'm saying your team, bro. Think My of team. your lineup, bro. I, yo, me and Jay, and then we got two survivalist niggas. She don't even want to be there. Why are you putting hit him when you putting Jay in a situation she don't want to be in, bro? You're being <laughs> selfish right now, bro. You being Niggas selfish, trying to bro. Like- she don't want to. Why would Jay want to go to the woods, bro? Yo, bro. Hey, bro. We bro, gonna, Jay, Jay, we gonna get it Jay out. Jay is bro. not a uh, you know a complete nature person. That's selfish for you. She's nature. You, you stuck there and you want to drag her into to your stuck, to, bro. That's he crazy. wants me to pick more, more women or a bunch of niggas. That's what bro, you want me to pick. That's crazy, bro. Nigga, this nigga that's sick. that's fucked up to bring Jay. Jay, why? I would never wish that on you, bro. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. Yo, you crazy, You know bro. she don't want to be out there with them gnats and them mosquitoes and them lions and tigers and you bears. You know what I'm there? saying? Yeah, she going to be out there. She lying like shit. Because <laughs> don't nobody want to be out there. Yo, it's going to be me and Jay and Bear Grylls and then one other survival nigga. If we you good. bring a baddie and bring me, we going to be all right. All right, so me, me and Jay and then you and a baddie? Yeah, different. 
<laughs> we gonna be all right, brother. Hey, bro. Hey, I'm I'm trusting you, bro. Nah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we did as fuck. Out. We did. Oh my god, man. bro. All right. Would you rather be the smartest man in the world, richest man in the world, mm-hmm. most attractive man in the world, or most popular man in the world? Nigga, you just named me. <laughs> this nigga is a sick nigga. Old. I'm myself. You this, bug it out, bro. Next a, one, bro. This is a sick. That's all you, nigga. All of the fucking above. Which one are you picking? I'm a fucking genius. You're not the richest I'm man. I'm a in fucking the world. sex symbol. Huh? You said what? He's not the richest man in the world. Um, I'm rich in spirit, bro. I mean, I am too. Nah, uh, yeah, I am too, bro. Yeah, I'm rich in spirit. Nah, bro. I, I mean, talking about money. I'm rich in family. I'm rich in love, bro. Come on now. So which one are you gonna pick? You. Most attractive thing in the world. I'm talking about girls. See you like like she want she hey, want dude. you, bro. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> what is hey. that? Come on now. That's what you want, bro. Bro, that's what's going on right now. But which one do you want? What you mean? If so, this this one needs to be the question. Uh huh. If I could take one away, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This nigga's a sicko, bro. <laughs> if this I could take sick. one away, what could I do without? Being the smartest man in the world. I'm not being the most attractive man <laughs> Yo, in the world. Is this happening right now? <laughs> is this really Well being what's the third one? Most being the richest man in the world. Most bro, popular man in spirit, the world. bro. Or being the most popular man in the world. No, nah, I'm talking about rich in money, bro, not spirit. I'm, you Fuck said rich, rich, bro. You ain't say nothing, but don't switch it up now. No, I said the rich answer, you know bro. what I meant. <laughs> you said richest man in the world. So what and I'm rich in the spirit. No, not spirit. We're talking about money. Your pockets. But that's not what you said, bro. You that's what I said. Rich in spirit. Nigga, anybody can be rich in spirit. First of all. Anybody can't be rich in spirit, bro. Who can't? Them people. <laughs> but um, I don't know who them people are. I don't know. You know I was got to say. I was about to guess. I didn't want to guess. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to guess. Them people can be rich in spirit, but um, like I said, the question got me. Which one would I take? Uh, away? Which one would you take away? Um, <laughs> this nigga's a sicko, bro. I would say. I would say the one I would take away is probably. The money. I don't need the money. Don't need the money. Oh, yeah. I thought it was the, I thought it was a, the fuck. I don't fuck, need the money. I thought it was a, my, 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 my the spirit, my nigga. You it's don't need spirit. the spirit. I, get, I, get, bro, I need the spirit. I need that. I need to be rich. Take away most attractive, bro. I don't need to be the most attractive at all. Oh, you don't? No, hell no. Like if a woman, sees I could be the second most attractive. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I could be the second most attractive nigga in the world to be I. Fucking out. <laughs> what is going on here? This is. If really- I'm the second most attractive nigga in the world. What am I missing? What, two bitches? Bro, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. Yo, bro. I'm missing only two bitches, bro. I'll be all right. You be cool with that? Bro. All right. Hey, bro. Because, all right, so since, I'm glad you was talking about spirit, bro. Because I, I want to talk to you about this thing that I, I was reading about or I watched the other day. Mm-hmm. So do you think that music could, like, bring up a person's mood or something like that for sure that's that's documented like that's, that's, documented. that's science brother so have you ever heard of like the frequencies yes you ever heard of like the 44 hertz frequency i have no clue what you're talking about. so there's a whole theory that goes by as in like in the 50s the rockefeller the rockefeller family which is like which was the richest one of the richest families in the yeah, world at I'm the time not. they changed like the frequency of like music and whatever stuff we listen to from 432 to 440 mm-hmm and like 432 was supposedly like a, a spiritual like like uh frequency where like there's like proven like studies that show it like heals your body and like I don't know if it, it says rewrites DNA, like makes you change to a different person, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like your mood and things like that. Yeah. But then there's also when they changed the 444, they said when you turn into this frequency, it like shuts off one side of your brain. Cause you know you have two hemispheres of your brain. Yeah. One that's creative and one that's logical. So once you listen to stuff like that, it like shuts off the creativity side and it just goes straight to logical. And it's weird that people started realizing like the Rockefeller family changed it, but they're also the people that created our learning system. Mm -hmm. And they were the people that said like, oh, we don't want a nation of thinkers. We want a nation of workers. Mm -hmm. So they're saying that music in a sense is like, maybe not music, but just like the frequency in a sense is just like a way to like change people's like, genetic or dna to where it's like you don't really think for now, yourself I agree. more so it, it you could tell a kind of nigga by the kind of music they listen to mm-hmm. right you know what i'm saying you could tell a person by who likes to listen to drill music uh-huh. who likes to listen to conscientious rap mm-hmm. who likes to listen to some playboy cardi type like shit. country music country music the different all of those most times those people have different characters they right? do like 
the kind of music that be played when I go to uh to Guineas like parties and shit. Like yeah. that's a different crowd of people. Yeah. And they into more of like the Playboy Cardi type shit, the yeah, vamping yeah. or the wolves shit. Yeah, like, like the like the raves and shit. Yeah, like they mm-hmm. they kind of more into that shit. And it's like maybe maybe it's it's a stretch, but even even rappers were saying it. Like remember, like X was saying it for a while before he died. He was saying like, yeah, like frequencies of the music that you listen to is like brainwashing you, whatever. So Luminati was talking about that shit for a minute yeah. when he was going on his little rants. He used to he was talking. I watched videos. They was talking about like. The 44 Dude, hertz. That is, shit real, bro. And that's cre- because, like, you got to think about it. They put us in. It's not. How do I say it? It's like all our lives we're learned to be something that like we're we're taught to do something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Not like it, it's not really in a way as in like trying to be creative. Like a lot of creative creative stuff is like shunned a lot. Mm-hmm. Spe- but not nowadays though. But before, when we was growing up, it's like you had to go to college. You got after you go to college, you got to find a nine to five job, and then you work until work, work, work until you die. Mm-hmm. And it's not. It's like if you go if you go away from that road or that path, it's like they look at you like, oh, it's gonna be harder. And they mm-hmm. always tell you like they always be like, it's gonna be harder. And they just look at you like, oh, you're doing something different. But it's like I feel like they like especially like the rich people, mm-hmm. they know how to get rich without even like us knowing about it mm. like they they we feed into what they want which is the money so they try to like maybe it is brainwashing in a sense which i don't know it could, it could be you know what i'm saying like it could be a way it could be something where it's like they tell us like lies and shit like that to make us go into the working class to make money for them as a way to just like you know just lie to us or whatever but i don't know i just think that just by like why why would they want to change that just a little bit and it's like there is studies that show that some of the music it does shut off some parts of your brain mm-hmm. because you know you could look at if you go to a concert right of a certain artist yeah you could look at the behavior of the crowd mm-hmm. and see that certain parts of these niggas brains right now it's not working right now it's not on and it's like it's like these niggas go blacking out like mm-hmm and it's like it changes your mood too. Mm-hmm. Like, like say you listen to a certain song in the morning, it's like you just it just changes your whole mood for the day. Mm-hmm. And like say like upbeat music makes you want to work harder, things like that. Maybe that's why they push all this upbeat music onto the radio so people listen to that shit, make them want to work, want to go to work, makes it motivates them to work to make more money for the bigger no, people. But even the topics of the music, yeah, that gives you a different mood. Like sometimes, like you don't want to wake up in the morning. And hear some sex music. Yeah. Like, cause I didn't woke up, bro. What yeah. the fuck I got, I got shit to do? That is true. So it was like, the topics of the music even have a time of day or a, a mood to when you're supposed to listen to it. Mm. Or even, like, like niggas a don't wanna... setting, right? You and the bros all sitting here, we playing the game. Why are you, you playing uh, Yo Side of the Bed by Trey Song? Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, here. Like, yeah. It got to make sense. It, got, it do got to make sense. Like, when you, like, say you're going to school. What music do you listen to on the ride home, right there? I'm weird. I'm weird. It, does it, does it so be different? like me, I like all kind of music, like different kinds of genres and shit. Yeah. Uh, so if I'm trying to get somewhere fast, though, I got to up the Chef G. I got up the Busy Bangs. I turn on uh, the drill music. Nick Bucks. So Sue Surf. No, but sometimes, yeah, I'll probably drill. Drill, uh-huh. drill probably, but... It'll be regular rap too. I might throw on some yay. Yeah, yeah. But it gotta be something like a a hard ass beat to where to where I I'm feeling that mood to go. And that's crazy, bro. Yeah, like and music like, really like, that powerful. Nigga, I'm, music is that powerful. Watch me start sharking. You put on some. Let's make a move on them. Damn, circle the block. He don't gotta. I'm I'm in that position. <laughs> <laughs> and yo, you put on that busy and what? like. And even you going back to that, bro. Like even like there's there was a couple of artists that didn't play in like that sort sort of frequency. Mm-hmm. The artist was Bob Marley and John Lennon, mm-hmm. and them niggas got packed up, bro. Yeah. Cause you know Bob Marley brought a whole country together. Yeah. And then John Lennon was low key starting up something, and then he got assass- he got killed. Yeah. Bob Marley got killed. X was talking about it, he got killed, and Kanye, be, Kanye even Kanye talked about that shit. All the time, but hey, you see how Kanye been moving lately. Mm-hmm. It's kind of died down now, but hey, I don't know. I just think music. I feel like they found ways to like 
re, like control us where it doesn't seem like they're controlling us, but it yeah. might be. No, nah, I, 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 I solely agree. And even genius, they're controlling though. us based off what they even put out and what they push, what mm. narratives they push. Yeah. Do we homework on what we were just talking about, the sexy rare shit? Yeah. That's the new image of the black woman we're, we're now pushing. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. There was also the old image of the black man that they... Because before we had the 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 breakdance of niggas and shit, like the... That, Jab that like was the Jab image. Walkies? No, 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 no. We talking about Run DMC days. Oh, okay. That was the image of the black man. So all of the black niggas had the Adidas on. Yeah, the jumpsuit suit with the fedora to the yeah, side. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, With yeah. a gold chain. Mm -hmm. That was the image of the B-boy black man. Like, that mm -hmm. was it. Yeah. Transition a little bit more to the 90s, late 80s. Now the gangster becomes... Like 50 and shit like that? No, 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 no. That's oh, even... That's a little... The way we talking about West Coast. And, oh, okay, okay, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Now it becomes the gangster because West Coast revolutionized that. Yeah. And then now we go into the late 90s, early 2000s, the East Coast comes. And now that's the new image mm -hmm. of like how the black, black man. Hip hop is the culture. It really is. Right? Mm -hmm. And I also got an interesting take of what else is the culture. Nobody talks about it. But hip hop is the culture and is kind of what, and in, in different areas too, because yeah. hip hop is different. All across this country, all mm -hmm. across this world, because yeah. hip hop is everywhere now. You see the Asian people making them raps. They making them. They making the raps. Africans making raps. You yeah, know? nigga, they Australia going crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, but um, but what was the take you was talking the about? The take is like, so behind hip hop, right? Yeah. What do you think behind behind hip hop and basketball? Yeah. What is the most influential? Thing or thing? hit you? Oh. Yeah. Mm, hip hop or basketball? Behind hip hop and basketball, because hip hop in basketball culture oh, is oh, 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 is oh, literally oh. the most influential in okay. this country. I don't care okay. what nobody says. It's not football culture. No, it's, it's not. not hockey culture. I ain't gonna lie. It's everybody looks to see what basketball players is doing and what hip hop. Is you talking about just this country yeah. or the world? Get the world. Because if you want to, because I. I would say I, I would say soccer, but I don't really know much about soccer mm -hmm. because like it's not that big in America. But I know basketball is big in a lot of places, especially like the Asian mm -hmm. countries. But mm, so maybe clothing. The reason why I wouldn't say soccer is because soccer don't even really change how people talk, how people dress. It's just the love for soccer grows. Oh, okay, right? okay. Hip hop would change how niggas act, how they dress, they slang. What you're into, like soccer just becomes Ooh. soccer. How about okay? How about does like? Ba but look, with basketball, you have niggas that start. AI had niggas wearing tattoos. Yeah. Basketball made numbers matter more than any other sport. Yeah, because not not a lot of people cared about their numbers. Numbers like in other before sports. before basketball players. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, do you? I was gonna say like. Just in a sense of like how people act and talk. Like, do you want to say like? Like, like superheroes or anime or whatever, shit like that. Cause you know how like anime, mm -hmm. especially like in this country, like you could tell when somebody watches, watches like anime, yeah. watches anime. And but you I, could... like that's a good one. But I think there's something even bigger than that, and it's kind of under the radar. Which one you think? I think skateboard culture. Oh, I was gonna say that too. I was gonna, I was gonna say that as a sense of like fashion. I think skateboard culture literally is fashion to the point where it influences hip hop. Yeah, and it influences basketball. Yeah, so. We had the whole and and this is what I'm saying. So when skateboarding went skinny, right? Yeah, we everybody started wearing skinny. Everybody went skinny. Yeah. Right. Now skateboarding is going away from skinny. Baggy pants. Baggy everything. Flat shoes. Flat. Everybody's going back to baggy everything. Mm hmm Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So even the wave of like sneakers, right? Mm hmm Niggas don't even know why they're wearing Vans, but Vans had a crazy, crazy pickup like. From like freshman year of high school, yeah, to like freshman year of college, yeah, everybody had a pair of vans. Mm -hmm. Nobody knowing where it come from, and it was just the skaters. They just like, yo, we need some vans. That nigga wearing vans, and nobody had a skateboard. And I feel like everybody, at least every dude in their life, once like liked like the X Games or something like oh, that. Yeah, skating. of course, it, it has to. But it, it like I said, it goes 
it, it's kind of like a thing that kind of goes over people's head. Yeah, because not a lot of people talk about it. Talk it's just like it's like it, a yeah. low key thing. It is low key, but it's one of the most influ like the swag of how niggas are dressing with the flannels all the way in Japan. Yeah, like the flannels niggas be Yo, wearing over that the shirts. come from skate culture. Dunks. If you ask a nigga where dunks come from, they're yeah. going to say basketball because of the word dunks. dunks. Nah, it's their skater shoes. Their skater shoes. Shout Anything out P Rod. He put niggas on like anything. Oh, I forgot about P Rod. I ain't gonna lie. He put niggas on. He was one of my Paul favorite. Rodriguez was everybody's Paul, favorite man. I ain't gonna lie. He was one of my favorite He was everybody's mans, favorite man, bro. He was one of my favorite man. He P-Rod. had all the wow. dunks before before this wave even started. Wow. P Rod had all the dunks. Like bro. he probably got some crazy colorways in his crib. Hold on. I haven't heard that name in mad long. Yo, bro. I'm telling you. Bro, because it's like especially, you know. It's not as big now because MTV wasn't that big. Yeah. Or MTV's not as big as it used to be. It used to be, yeah. But like when we was growing up, MTV was, was like, big, like yeah. your parents would be like, yo, you can't watch MTV, but niggas used to go sneak and watch sneak that shit at nighttime. It, yeah. Like everybody watched Rob Dyrdek, watched the Jackass niggas. That's what I'm saying. All the Jackass it's niggas were skaters. Skaters. They all originate mm-hmm. from skaters or some form of extreme sport. Bro, I forgot about Paul Rodriguez, bro. Bro. I forgot about, about it, this bro. nigga, I'm, bro. In my mind, bro, I believe that Tony Hawk is just as big as LeBron James. Oh, yeah, most definitely. But people don't realize it because it's just like, people think skating is just such like a, maybe like, like a Which is a crazy thing. take because niggas would be like, LeBron is LeBron. Nah, Tony but Hawk. Culture effect, Tony Hawk is just as big as LeBron. He's just Tony as Hawk as has did more for like the world's culture than LeBron. Like honestly, we're. Niggas, niggas don't want to talk about it. Like he niggas is. Revolutionized cl- a sport. Yeah. Like a sport, not just a position in a sport. The not whole just how sport. you play, like the whole sport. Niggas used to want to be Tony Hawk before they wanted to win. Yo. That was niggas. Mind you, Tony Hawk is a vert skater, but exactly. he still had niggas outside doing, doing kick flips. Exactly. Like, that nigga was doing the big ass yeah, ramps and like, shit. Nigga. I want, yo, I told you before I wanted to hoop, I wanted to be a pro skater, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I remember I used to watch this. I used to watch on MTV. There was like this camp. Like, it was like in PA or whatever. It was like a skate camp. It was like Woodward or some shit like that. Bro, this this one dude, he from Jersey, from Edison, Mike uh, Mike Vallely, bro. Yeah. Mike V. Like, he just was so tough to me growing up. And I feel like because how the community is not that big, yeah, that he could walk to the street and nobody people probably wouldn't really know. Yeah, I wouldn't The know. whole time, this nigga is a star in the skate community. Yeah, that's how, that's how a lot that's of That's kind of how it is with football players, too. Like, football players could be one of the best players in the NFL and low-key could... Just be around. You know who, like, <laughs> like the niggas that probably you won't know is all the linemen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Probably the, one of the best linemen you've ever, ever to ever play. Like, I feel like if Jason Kelsey never had, like, a podcast, niggas, Yo. he could walk throughout the, he could walk to walk Target and niggas Yo, not know who he is. niggas would not know who he, that's a tough take. If Jason Kelsey did not I'm have that podcast. Stack. I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas would not know. I'm he just looks like stack. a regular big dude. I know dude. who he was before, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Nigga, like, because, like. A lot, you can't say the defensive backs or the DS because them niggas, they wear the chains and shit yeah. like that. Like DBs, wide receivers, they all wear the chains. But yeah. the line, like the big white linemen, yeah. that like. Even the big black ones. Nah, still some, don't know nah some, some, some of them wear chains though. Okay. Yeah, like yeah. the white dudes, they not wearing no chains. Oh, yeah. yeah. They yeah, just walk generic. around with. Those are ones that come from the country. The country, the country niggas. Boys. Yeah. They, yeah. Just, they just walk <laughs> around in shorts yeah. and, and like a baggy ass shirt, just look like a big ass dude. Yeah, They're like, damn, you big sure. as hell, bro. Yeah. Like, you should be in the NFL. NFL. Nigga I got am. three Pro Bowls and shit, <laughs> making like millions of dollars. Yeah, like, that shit crazy. True. That's true. But nah, like, I didn't, I never realized, like, yo, like, skating is I was really thinking, big. Because I, I watch a lot of skateboarding. Like, if you go to my YouTube history, like, I watch a lot of skateboarding shit. Yeah. But it's like, there's no megastar anymore because Tony Hawk is not around and no one no one ever picked it up. Yeah. But I don't it's it might take a while for it to get like back if bigger there like was that. a LeBron James video game, would that shit would it would it boom pat? Come on, bro. There was a Tony Hawk video game. I know where you become Tony Hawk. Of, we, bro, literally one of the biggest selling franchises ever. One of everybody's childhood franchise. I did have that. Everybody had that. Did you have the, the Wii game with the skateboard? Oh, uh, Tony Hawk Ride? Yeah. Of course. I had I, I had bro, that because I might still cop that shit now today. I, I think I still have the skateboard in my downstairs. Bro, because I, I, I never got a chance to beat the game. Really? So I kind of want to play Me it. neither. Yo, I used to get, because like, that shit used to lag, bro. That shit used to, to piss lag. me off. You do, you do like, yo, uh, 
put click the board up and turn to her left. That <laughs> should not work. And I'm like, damn. Because like that was like the first time they made shit like that. Yeah. For real. Like it was it, like revolutionizing gaming. That's true. They never had nothing like that. That's true, bro. What is like? No offense. You feel me? We love LeBron, but what is LeBron gonna do? He's literally revolutionizing a whole another thing. That is this true. is now gaming. Uh huh. Hey, you never know. You never know. I don't think. Yeah. Bro, Tony Hawk had a clothing brand, right? That was like sold in like Walmart and, and Target and shit. What was like it that. called? Tony Hawk. It was a Tony Hawk shit. It was shit? Tony Hawk shit. Yeah. But I, I believe it was Tony Hawk. Mm. But it was like affordable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would see a lot of people in Tony Hawk gear. I did have Tony. more than you would see in a LeBron James Nike shirt. Because that should that be like fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real shit, bro. Even Rob Dyrdek. Remember Rob Dyrdek had them. Or he was like partnering with them shoes. I forgot mm-hmm. them shits called. Uh, I remember Paulie had them shits on. I forgot yeah, what, they was, was it? like chunky. Yeah, it was, it was like chunky was it like Osiris's. Not Osiris. Oh. Was that Osiris? I, did, I think it was Osiris's. It was. A few things had Osiris's at the time. Yeah. yeah, I think it was some shit like that. But like I remember, like even even Rob Dyrdek, bro. I feel like like I told you, I think it was my hero. Yeah, Rob Dyrdek is another person that people may not give it the credit to because he wasn't like necessarily the best skater. But he was the he knew what to he was one of the, the mm-hmm. smartest niggas, bro. That nigga made had like what three shows mm-hmm. and like he did whatever the fuck he wanted. Yeah. Imagine waking up every day just just do whatever. Doing bro. whatever, bro. Hey bro, we're gonna be there one day, bro. One day, bro. We're gonna be there one day. It wasn't like he was nineteen doing that shit. He was I know. already doing that he shit. He was already yeah. hey bro, we gonna get there, bro. But yo, oh I wanna I wanna tell you the story because I thought <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. Bro, a couple days ago, right? I walk, I was I was about to go pick up Jay for her birthday and shit like that, mm. and I looked at my crib and I seen some shit in the sky, bro. I swear I thought I saw a UFO, bro. But what it like it looked like this, right? It was so you know you know like planes, right? Mm-hmm. So it looked like it was a plane, but it was like you know how planes have the lights. Mm-hmm. It was like that, but it was like lined up. It was like ten of them just lined up in the air, and it was just staying there. I was like. I was like, nah, am I seeing shit? Do you ain't pull out your phone? Or? No, I, t- yo, I like we was, I was rushing, so I literally took a picture, but I'm like, it, it was fuzzy. Look, I, I found it though. It was, and I told, I told my mom to come outside. Like, mom, come outside, look at this. I'm like, you see that shit? She's like, yeah. What the fuck is that? It was what it was. It was Elon Musk's um, Starlink satellite. Like he sent up a satellite off the coast of like around Jersey Shore, around us, and it, it got, it was like, a, it's like a bunch of satellites like in a line. So, like, as it goes higher, but, like, the way it looked, it looked like it was just standing there. And the way it goes up, and then, like, it's supposed to, like, improve the Wi-Fi or whatever. Hold on. Let me let me show you what it looked like, bro. I was like, nah, no way is this shit happening to me right now, bro. It looked like... It was... It looked, it looked just like that, cuz. It looked just like that. I seen that shit in the sky. I was like, what the fuck? Nigga thought it was over. Nigga, I was <laughs> like... thought it was over, Nigga, bro. I'm like, yo, I got content, bro. I'm like, nah. I was like, no way. But the whole time, but that's what I seen that shit. So I'm like, nah, this is this some wild shit. But then, so after I seen that, I started, you know, I, every t- I feel like my phone be like, you know, your phone be listening to you and shit like that. So a lot of shit be popping on my on my TikTok about like aliens after that. And like, you know, everybody, you know, everybody proving aliens is real and shit like that, whatever. So, and you know, the CIA started declassifying a lot of documents mm-hmm. on aliens. So there's this one document that Joe Rogan was talking about on his podcast where the CIA declassified it. And it was, it's an actual thing, like a real life, like it happened according to the CIA. So it was in Russia back, I think maybe 20, 30 years ago, the KGB, which is like the Navy SEALs of Russia, Russia they seen like a flying saucer, like hover around like a field or whatever. And some guy shot a rocket at it and it, it hit the, the, the saucer and it fell like a couple yards away and blew up. And it was like a big ass bright light. And it said that the there was 23 soldiers the light like went on them and it like turned them all to stone and only two niggas survived and they said that after it t- after they turned like 23 niggas into stone like russia freaking um took all the people that was in stone and they took the aircraft back to like a lab and like did tests on it and they said whatever it was it was like a weapon that changed like their like dna matter whatever into actual shit like limestone Ooh. and like i thought it was i'm like there's no way this shit could be real but like if you look at it's the CIA documented website that says like if you look it up if you look up like UFO turns soldiers into stone the CIA website pops up and it's a whole document that's tells that's you. crazy but like it's like that's crazy it's like imagine now right mm-hmm. if they declassified shit like that what are they just holding like classified that's like hiding from us clones 
I think there are clones, low key. Yeah. You know, bro. I think all, I've, I've been saying you could clone people. They cloning animals. Exactly. It, no, I'm not gonna lie. They clone animals very perfectly. Like now. perfectly, you could clone a dog like a motherfucker. Bro, they do clone dogs. That's why they have these like different, different dog dogs, breeds. That's yeah. that's that. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of these dog breeds are clones, and they're just they're just like mating with each other. Now they're becoming like mm-hmm. new dogs. Like especially like like even a person. There could be a like. I'm not. I'm not gonna go by all the stereotypical shits. Like they be cloning all these celebrities and shit like that. I don't think they're doing all that. But I think like a Nick, maybe one or two, they test them out. Like you know, there's like a they secret got program. So much money, they like yeah, clone me. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. hey, just see how it is. Like just it's probably not painful. Like you know, just take some of your DNA and just build it from like an embryo or whatever. Mm. But that would be od, bro. Especially because niggas they start they was cloning niggas in like the freaking 50s. I heard. Mm. So imagine we're about to be a hundred years from now. Yeah, you know they could do it, bro. And it's like it's weird. It's like from from twenty years ago, from like the two thousands to now, it's like a big ass jump of like technology. Technology, yeah. And it's like so. Just imagine, like, and people say we don't have a lot of big tech, a lot of technolo- technological things. But think about it. Imagine twenty years from now, what we will have. Niggas already got the AI shits that is ruling the world right now, yeah. where they could do your homework. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, do do your homework. do your homework on that shit, bro. That shit do your <laughs> homework. That, yo, I'm I'm about to get an AI bot to edit the podcast. That's so tough. That shit I seen like it's called Autopod. Like you freaking um, so it's like a Premiere Pro plugin or whatever. You buy, you buy it like for thirty dollars a month, and you plug it in, and like you um you do all the settings like you know name all the cameras and the mics. And it, it links it all together and it clips it. And it, it takes me, for a two-hour pod, it takes me about four or five hours. It will do that shit in 30 seconds. That's crazy. Nigga, this is this is the future I always wanted, bro. Yo. I never thought we would get to the future, yeah, bro. We really in the future crazy. now, bro. Fly, I don't think we ever going to get flying cars, but I think we're going to get something cooler, we'll get though. flying cars. We're going to get hovering cars. Or, oh, like it just hovers around over the ground? That's dangerous to have flying cars because... You got to make new rules and shit? You got one, you got to make new rules. Mm-hmm. Two, say your car break down. I know. That shit falling. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Whoever shit. under you, boomed. You, boomed. Like, it's over. Mm. So, hovering cars, you're still right to the ground. Just no wheels. Real shit, real shit. How long do you think that would take? Now. Oh, like, like now? now? You do that. They, have, they can make those today. You know, probably the government has it, or Tesla. But Tesla's and it, probably and it probably it. takes a lot of energy, a lot of gas to run that. Oh yeah, hell yeah, probably take mad. Mm-hmm. I think that's going. That should probably take a whole. Or what they low key what they could do is use just wind. Oh, like, like wind use, powered. Like, yeah, wind power, air, like just I feel, pushing. I feel that like, would take a lot too. I feel like they wouldn't do that because that's technically free energy. I feel like they. Yeah. I feel like the the rich niggas in the world don't want people to have free energy. Free energy, yeah. Because they want to profit off everything, bro. It's a hey, great man. The rich stay rich, bro. It's a crazy world we live in, bro. Even I even heard like World War Three about to start, bro. Hey, bro. You heard about like you ever seen that shit? Like where, who we going to war with, bro? Bro, send me to Africa. Nigga, I ain't fighting. They said China, bro, because they said so. Supposedly, like China is about to invade Taiwan, mm-hmm. and we are trying to protect Taiwan because we're like their allies. And the reason why they're trying to invade Taiwan is because they have like the. Uh, processor chips or whatever and that's the one that's the main thing you need in like computers like that's the one thing you need and like Taiwan is like the biggest manufacturer in the world so they're trying to invade them niggas to take all that shit away and like if they said if they step foot on that that's World War 3 already they could be on they could actually start doing that right now and we don't even know about it but hey I just saying as long as I'm not dra- I'm not getting drafted I told this every day on this podcast I ain't getting drafted to war bro bro I'm going to Liberia bro can I come with you bro pull up bro hey bro we out bro we out, gang. All right, I got a... Do I have a... Oh, I have another question. All right. So, would you rather every year of your life you have to try to survive a giant weather disaster? Like, I'm talking about a random weather disaster once a year for every year of your life. Or, randomly, once a year you have to, you have to try to survive a random accident. Like, it's going to happen randomly. Like, a random car accident, random plane crash. You just got to survive that. Which one would you rather? So, the weather disaster is niggas with me. Like is this the, oh, yeah. is the it, world affected? It's like or it's just me. No, it's not just you. It's just like it'll hit Union or like New Jersey, like a tsunami. Ooh. You niggas fucked. <laughs> yo, we <laughs> no, no, that I'm one. picking that one too. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> yo, that shit's crazy. You niggas fucked. I'm like, taking that shit. But like, just imagine though, like, say you get older, you got a crib. Now you don't got a crib. Yeah, yeah, fuck no. I but, mean, but like, 
if it's just an yeah. accident, you just got damn. Nah, I can't. It's keep, called it's called insurance. That's bro. PTSD. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Because imagine you just every year you got like a, it's just a random accident. Like you go on a plane. That's hella PTSD, bro. Only thing I know is D, but for the for the tsunami, bro. I know a tsunami hits yeah. you, but like it's either so it's either a tornado, tsunami, hurricane, earthquake. That's about it, right? That's it. Is there any other natural disaster? Typhoon. Tycoon, what is it called? Typhoon. I feel like that's the same thing as like a hurricane. That's just uh, not as big. Yeah. So that we just need to worry about those four in like rotation. I, I'm cool with that. But like one year might be fucking ass. I mean. But like I just rather that than just have. Because cause we get hurricanes all the time. Hurricane warnings all the time. Yeah, but I'm talking about big ass. We don't get no big ass big hurricanes. Ass like I'm talking ah. about like Sandy level hurricanes every year. That's. Now, I, as long as, hey, as long as niggas with me, bro. I feel straight, bro. I don't want to be by myself just in a car just by, like, like on the verge of death, bro. Like, just keep having to try to survive that shit. If I'm in, like, a plane crash, if I'm in, like, a freaking, like, a freak accident, like, a uh, final destination, I can't be living life like that, bro. Yeah. I can't be living my life like that. But, oh, I got a, I got a game we could play, bro. I, lo- bro. I love to play. I bro. know you do. So, I have a, one question, though. I need you to pick a number between one and ten. Three? Always. Well, that's how many, that's how long you have to guess the top 10 uh, fast food chains in the world, Nigga, bro. You gave me three, three, three seconds. No, three minutes. Oh. But. Everything three. So know. here's the, here's the stipulation. If you get all of them, I will, I will buy you lunch. Huh? Niggas is gay. <laughs> Niggas <laughs> is so gay. Yeah, I didn't say from you, bro. I didn't say from Niggas you, is gay. If you, if you get all of them, <laughs> you will get, you will, I will buy you lunch. Mm-hmm. Since it's fast food, but if you don't, we're gonna try this game. You're gonna take the smelling salts, bro. You ever had smelling salts nigga, before? I'm not taking what the fuck is that? Yeah, we run it up, Jay. We got it. <laughs> so, nigga, try to make me do crack cocaine. It's not crack, it's it's a Ward smelling salts bottle insanity. Ah, <sighs> but what type of freak shit. Y'all I will, I will give you one of them. Because we, it's not anywhere biased. One number nine is Hunt Bro, Hunt Brothers Pizza. Yeah, I don't know what that is. So I'll I'll give you that because we don't have that around us in New yeah. Jersey. But I'll let you start. All right, boom, McDonald's, Burger King. Wait, uh, wait, wait! Burgers. You gotta let me like just say McDonald's and then just go. No, you give me three minutes, bro. All right, you know what? I'll give you I give you three chances then. Like you can't, you only get like if you fuck up, you only have three chances to fuck up. All right. Are you sure? Or you want to double it? I'll, you get six. Give me yeah, give me six. You all know right, I so you, double it past to the next person. All right, bro. so you get six t- six chances. Uh, you get six chances. Yeah. Like not to fuck up whatever. All right, so what's the? Give me a guess. McDonald's. McDonald's is number one. Wendy's. Wendy's is not on there. Wendy's. Nope, that's one. Burger King. Burger King is number six. Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is not on there. You gotta think about the world. Oh, Popeyes. Popeyes is not oh, on. Oh yeah, there. I lost this shit. <laughs> bro, they give me, they give me that, just give me that shit. No, nah, you lost, got man. it, bro. You got, uh, <laughs> you got it, cuz. Let me make sure you got. You don't got Burger King. You got Burger yeah, King got, at six. You got Burger King at six. So you got McDonald's and Burger King. So just think about. You got three. Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts is number eight. Uh. Think about fast food, bro. What the fuck is fast food? <laughs> Ain't no chicken place, bro. Um, there is a chicken place. KFC, bro. KFC is number four. KFC. KFC is number four. Um, you know, you know, people love chicken, though. You gotta think away from chicken, cuz. Um, <laughs> you need two, three, five, seven, and ten. Two, three, five, seven, ten. For I don't really know fast food places like that. I know the basics, like the, these are the basics. They're not. It's not. It's really. You just gotta. It's not that like. It's not like hidden ones. Like these are all ones you've seen and had before. Taco Bell. Taco Bell's number ten. Yeah. Uh, and you fighting back, brother? <laughs> you fighting back? You was down. You had. You was at a deficit. I was, I was just naming all the shit that was on Route Twenty Two. <laughs> hey um, yo, so you're missing 
two, three, Nigga, five, and seven. <laughs> what? Why you made a disgust face at me and shit? I'm trying to think of shit. Two, three, five, and seven. Two, three, five, and seven. What's number two, bro? Would you like a hint? Yeah, bro. Um, so think about the some of these is like their main color is green. 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 One one of them is green and yellow. It's a, it's one of the most. It's one. It's it's what it's probably one of the most like known fast food chains in the world. Like this one. It's like right below McDonald's. It has a lot of people sponsoring it, sponsoring it. You know, green, green and yellow, bro. A lot of people sponsoring it. They had a song a little bit to, to freaking, what's it called, to, to advertise their food. This is a bad hit, bro. One of all right, you're miss I. Two, two of them is the same thing. Like they sell, they sell the same type of food. Like, like a, like the little Mexican place. Nah, it's not Mexican food. Uh, like the, like think of like think of fast food foods. Like you got so burger. It's not, it's not Chipotle. Nah, it's not Chipotle. That's oh, four. Shit. No, you Kevin. That's not four, bro. <laughs> That's four. It's like you know that this you sell burgers, tacos. Uh, chicken. What's the other fast food that everybody eats? Like breakfast shit? Nah, not breakfast. Bro, I'm ready to quit, bro. You got, well, you got, you could get it, bro. You got two more, or you got, you have two chances left. You got seven, two, three, five, and seven. You got to just think just think about think about fast food places, bro. Think about all right, you want another hint? Yeah. The, they have, they have to deal with like uh pizza. Oh shit. Domino's and Pizza Hut and them boys and shit. Yeah, Domino's and Pizza Hut, bro. Oh shit, nigga caught me. Domino's and Pizza Hut is 5 and 7. So now you just need 2 and 3. It's not fast food though. That is fat it is fast food pizza. Like it's not like pizzeria pizza. It is fast food, like deliver, like you know what I mean. Like they do have drive-throughs for some Domino's and things like that, and Pizza Huts. So now you just need two and three, bro. You got two more chances to get of uh, row, bro. What you talking about? That shit green, green and yellow. One of them, the the Caucasians really love one of them. They're both they both got green in it, but one of them, the Caucasians really love it. And one of them is a breakfast place. Just think long and hard, bro. Pause. (laughs) (laughs) Think he's weird. Uh. Only shooting stars. Like a. Mo-o-o. You seen me eat it before? Yep. The second one, yeah, you you've eaten that before. Make a, the third one, you know what it is, but I don't know if you've ever been there. Make a moat. Dun dun dun, but the man start coming. Dun dun dun, we're running. Dun, dun, dun. That's how he. Hey now, you're an all star. Turn the game on. Oh, hey, I got I gotta sing something. I can't have no dead silence. Hey now, yeah, hey nonstop. Now. <laughs> right, but I really don't. I'm about to just say fuck it, honestly. You gonna say fuck it? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, Jay, get the sauce, sauce ready, bro. But <laughs> bro, I ain't, bro. I ain't, y'all on some weird shit. Y'all on some freak shit in this house, bro. <laughs> hey, we gotta spice up the podcast, bro. You can't just do the same shit. Hey yeah, now, bro. you yeah, gotta spice that shit up with Jason, weird ass. I did. Put <laughs> the game on. <laughs> bro, what the fuck is this? All right, let me guess, bro. Let me guess. Bro. Go ahead. Uh, it's one of them is a breakfast place, and one of them is very well known. I hop. No, 
You got one more guess. No, Jay Lee, bro. Take the last guess, bro. Jay, Jay. Jay, it, one of them, it, it's a breakfast place and it's green. It's green? Yeah, like like the like the logos is green. The Caucasians love it. The Caucasians love it. Bro, I ain't sniffing that shit, bro. You Yo, you going to hit it, bro. Just, just hit it real quick. You don't got to sniff it. You just got to open it. Oh, it's diluted? Oh, you cooling, bro. It's not that bad. Do you want to give up, bro? Yeah, I give up. It's Starbucks and oh, Subway. Oh, shit. But they sell only they sell breakfast foods. They sell coffee. If you would say coffee, please. I don't want to give it up too well. I thought I just uh, looked at it as breakfast as like coffee and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I didn't think that. Just. All right, it's not gonna be that bad, bro. Just nigga, what the fuck I'm supposed to do? You just open it and just take a whiff, bro. It's not drugs, bro. bro what type of freak shit y'all be on, bro? <laughs> hey now. Yeah, no, it's done. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be bad. See, it's not that bad. Ooh. Were you kidding? No, it's not. Oh, it's not? It's, it's, it's like wet on the inside. Oh, Ooh. dang, I, I fucked it up. <laughs> There's no... <laughs> Let me see. No, I don't want to hit. Let me... You want to try it? You want to hit with it? Bro, that's just supposed to make get you right, bro. Yeah, you hit that shit before you rump, though. Bro, what the, I would never hit this shit ever again. Nigga, talk about hit that shit before you rump, nigga. What the fuck is this? <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Let me smell. Bro, what the fuck, <laughs> bro? Nigga, try to poison me, bro. <laughs> bro I can't. It's not. It's not. It's not right as now. bad as the first time. Shit, it's not as bad as the first time. Like, that nigga trying to make me do crack. Yeah, I got to order a new one. What? Yeah, we got to get a new one for the next That was people. crazy. Uh, hey, bro, you did it, though. Shout out. But, like, this... So, the list is McDonald's is number one, Subway 2, Starbucks 3, KFC 4, Pizza at 5, Burger King 6, Domino 7, Dunkin' Donuts 8, Hunt Brothers Pizza 9, Taco Bell 10, yeah, and Wendy's is number 11. It's just crazy. Yeah, I don't First think, of all, with that 4 for 4 drop, that shit should have shot them up know, to the top. You know, I don't think Wendy's is really that big on the West Coast. Mm. I don't think it's that big on the West Coast. I feel like these is more like like for the like the Caucasian people yeah, that yeah. like this shit. But what other question? Oh, I got another question. <laughs> this one's funny. So say Mr. Beast walks up to you, right? <laughs> right? Mm. Like he's he wants you to be part of your video, part of his video. Nigga, I'm knocking him out. No, <laughs> he's like, yo, he's like you want to be part of our video? Like we gonna get money? He's like, I bet. So he's like, you get a hundred thousand dollars for every random person to smack and grab your ass. How many people are you gonna let <laughs> smack your ass? <laughs> you said if Mr. Beast, Mr. and this is recorded, yeah, so he's yeah. gonna walk, you gonna walk around and be like, yo, can you smack my smack and grab my ass? Yeah. How many people? Every time they do, you get a hundred hundred thousand oh, dollars. Yeah. How many people would smack your ass? It's gonna be a grab fest. How many people is grab fest? Unlimited. <laughs> any any woman walk past me, they're gonna get a feel. <laughs> every woman. Every woman that walk. Every past woman. Me. Everybody. <laughs> every I mean, single body. Not, is, not one woman is getting the pass. They, I'll be I'll, like I'll she got hit up. as hard as you can in Go a right ahead, in bro. a grab in a grab like like a for a hundred thousand. Oh no, I'm doing it too. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh, not bro. every woman though. Every woman that walk past. How many am I gonna do? I don't give a damn. Like you gonna get like how much bread you gonna get for nigga? Real I want to be a billionaire. A billionaire, oh, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I want to run it up. That's a lot of bread, That's bro. A That's a lot bread, of smack. A lot of slaps. Your ass gonna rip hurt. it. Pulls. What if you what, <laughs> if you, what if you walk past a dude that want to do it? The what if a dude want to do? I'm already. It? Why he want to do it? I'll, I'm you saying. You know, it's like, no. it's like a frat dude. Like, hey, bro, I'll do that. Shit. I'll no, get no, you some no, bread. No, 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 no. I'm cool. He's like, yo, a whole already, bunch of frat dudes. Because what? Like they just walk by, like yo, bro, that shit fire, bro. Like let me, like yo, I got you, hundred nah, cool. K's, I'm bro. Cool. I'm cool because 
I'm going to just wait for the women to come past, bro. Well, if there's no women around. There's just straight dudes. Like, you got a time limit. I will never. A time limit is crazy. I will never <laughs> be in that position, bro. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to a stop and shop, bro. <laughs> you say women be at stop and shop. They be at stop and shop. You say just women, women, just only women be at stop and shop? No, no, Because no. women but only. They, <laughs> but they, they be there, bro. The women be at stop and Why shop. Why do women be at stop and shop? They be shopping, bro. Cause they, women, cause, they, cause women like to shop. Women like to shop. They yeah. like to. Men don't really. Men like to make shop, them shop. So. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. <laughs> men don't really like to shop, so you know, more than likely you'll see women at the mall or at the uh, the grocery store because that's where they like to go. Good you know, deflection. That's where a lot of women go and find their peace. Good deflection. Yeah, fuck nigga. <laughs> Good deflection. Yeah. So you gonna let niggas smack your ass though? I'm like, not letting niggas smack. Like, my like, ass. let people smack your ass. I'm letting people smack my. I'm letting people, whatever Mr. B say. Nah, that's crazy. Not whatever Mr. B say. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Nah, not whatever. As long as there's no pause, bro, we we'll be all right, bro. <laughs> all right, all right. That ain't there's too no crazy. pause, bro. And he talking about some 100,000. Hey. Run it up, Mr. B. Run it up, bro. Run it up. Run it up, bro. All right. So now I'm giving you a button. If you press that button, you get $50 million. But as soon as you press that button, you have to survive being hunted down by three random people for 24 mm-hmm. hours. And after that is over, you get the $50 million. So it's random people? Yeah, three, three random people. Bro, I'm going to sit in a crib, lights off, blicking the hand. Do you have a gun? <laughs> like, 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 come on. Hey, like, dude. It hit different. It, like, like, what if they got guns, too? It hit different. You better open that door and shoot. Like, what if they're, like, assassins? They better open that door and shoot. Like, you going to be good? What? Downstairs, ain't no window. There is no window. But you're not gonna be scared though. Only, I'm never afraid. Like you hear the you hear the door. But Unless like, they coming to kill me, all three of them at the same time, they're done up. There's only one way in, one way out. One way in, what one way out. They gotta shoot through the floor like this. They can't. What you got cement? You already know. Or you gonna make? Are you gonna tell them tomorrow? I'm in the basement. So you gonna tell everybody your crib? But you gonna tell everybody your crib not to be in the house that day though? First of all, hey. If you gonna come in, you coming here to kill me. So now you trying to double your bodies. Now you making mad noise. Come on, bro. So you still gonna do it though? Fifty mil. I'm doing it. I'm doing it too. All right. So what if I give it to? You? Pause. Whoa. It's crazy. That was a, that was a crazy sentence. Bro, just ask the question, bro. You wailing right now? So if you press the button now, mm. like I give you the button, press it. Your timer starts now. You will you will get the money tomorrow night at eleven thirty six. Be prepared to fight, my nigga. Oh, you gonna give me some bread? Yeah, let's do it. All right, bet. Real nigga, bro. Real, hey, hey, real hey, nigga, bro. Fight, bro. Real nigga, bro. Hey, as long as you, as long as you prepare, bro. I don't care. Hey, bro, I've been waiting my life. Know, bro. Nobody want to fight that alone. You know what I'm saying? So, real shit. Hey, real we shit, bro. Fight, bro. We gonna get this bread. Um, I right, do I have any more questions? Do you got any questions to ask, bro? Yeah, bro. What you think about uh about Dame Lillard right now? About where he's about to go? Yeah. Um. I think I think he's going to get traded because of who they drafted. And I, they're expecting the trade. I don't think they're going to get a proper deal right in time before the season. I feel like yeah. it's going to be like in the middle of the year type of shit. I agree. I Where agree. like some – I feel like this is what the Miami is going to do. They're going to play some of the players that is like young guys that is like very valuable – so they can raise their their stock, their draft, their, their, draft their trade stock, trade value, whatever. I mean, and then once the time trade, is yeah. once the time is right, ship them niggas for Dame. Like what's his name? Yo Yo that nigga Jovic or whatever. That new Hami Hami Yaka is whatever his name is that they just drafted him. I don't know about eh, maybe no, he's a buck. I seen him as some uh, some open runs. Like I yeah. seen him hooping. He's tough. Bro. Honestly, everybody in NBA is good in open runs. Open bro. runs. That's true. That's like true. everybody in the like it's but really see, crazy. That, that's what causes. Regular fans or NBA fans to discredit basketball players. Why? Like, oh, he's trash. He, nah, he's just not in the right system. That's what I'm saying. Like, he everybody just, realizes, like, you have, like, basketball, you can only do but so much mm-hmm. with it, that ball. It's that, hand. it's the confidence thing that Draymond was talking about. Uh huh. Like, say you give a player like, a player like Nick Young, right? Yeah. Say he gets the confidence and the the proper leadership. That's 25 points a game. Easy. Oh, yeah, most definitely. That's 25 points a game. Because you got to remember, a lot of these kids, 
A lot of these niggas in the NBA, they don't really got a lot of leadership. Mm-hmm. Especially like niggas on like the Rockets or like the Magic. They're all the yeah. same age. That's like niggas like me and you playing basketball against niggas yeah. like LeBron, 40-year-old niggas. Uh-huh. That's like outsmarting the fuck out of us. Like we don't know no better. We just know to shoot. Yeah. These niggas, like they're trying to teach you like, like there's different ways to score. Like I feel like the older guys show them like, you know, scoring you're making score like what you're doing right now you're making it a lot more difficult than it really is mm-hmm. like you can you can score t- you can score 20 points a game off of back cuts off of back cuts literally fucking <sighs> who used to do literally that shit fucking um quick, quick drops I forgot who used to be doing all the back who used to cut uh, like Sean Marion or whatever mm-hmm. nigga used to average like 18 19 off of just straight cuts, cuts to the basket bro. offense like that's all you got to do and it's like i feel like these niggas they think just like dribble dribble shoot and it's like they could do that mm-hmm. like especially like but it's like that's not their job. Mm-hmm. Like everybody in the NBA got a job. Like it's like not everybody's gonna score the ball. But that's the, the NBA. See, that's what I'm saying. The NBA humbles niggas, and it hurt niggas' ego and confidence. Oh yeah. Cause so you just came from averaging twenty fifteen to twenty in college. Uh huh. So you're saying I'm a scorer. Mm-hmm. You get drafted to to fucking the Phoenix Suns. You get drafted to the Phoenix Suns. You think you would score with KD, nah. uh, um, Devin Booker, and all all these niggas on this team? T- mm-hmm. TJ Warren still with the, yeah. all these scorers. Bradley Beal, you think you would score if you get drafted there? See, that's why you better go rebound and defend. That's why a lot of people are valuing the guy, the glue guys a lot, like mm-hmm. the nigga that was from Kansas that went to the Nuggets that won a championship, yeah. Christian Brown. Yeah, they've a lot of a lot of draft like people are valuing these guys a lot higher because it's like. We don't need you to score 20 points a game, but, like, you're not you're not scoring 20 points a game in college, mm-hmm. but, like, you're doing your job at a great level, mm-hmm. at a high mm-hmm. level. So, it's like, we need somebody like that, so it's not going to be that hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of, like, only, the only niggas that need, like, people that average 20 is, like, the booty-ass teams. Yeah. But it's like, even, like, I always used to wonder why um, niggas that only average, like, six points a game get drafted first round. Mm-hmm. Like, they get, like, niggas, like, from, like, France or, like, the UK, yeah. they, be, they average, like, Six, seven, eight points a game on their club teams or whatever, and they get drafted like top ten. I always used to be like, "What the fuck?" And there's a nigga here averaging like eighteen, doing the same yeah. shit. But it's like, it's easier to transition that person to the NBA because he they just gonna do his job, mm-hmm. which is what he's always been doing. That's how he looks at the game. That's how he looks at the game, and it's not gonna change because he's got way more ego in our country. Exactly. Imagine like, ever since you're a kid, like you've been averaging twenty five games since you was ten years and old. Everybody's Everybody, telling you. That you need to average 25. You get the ball all the time. You shoot every shot, all that. You even go to college, you're doing the same shit. You get drafted. And then the niggas be like, nah, we don't need you to do that. We just need you to spot up and shoot. And you only go to shoot maybe six, seven, eight shots a game. Be ready. That's what I'm saying. That's why a lot of people, that's why I feel like a lot of. I feel like that happens on every level of basketball and niggas don't get it. Like mm-hmm. you, at your high school, it don't matter what division you play. Your high school, you averaging. 15, you 15 and 15 type shit. Yeah. You grabbing them boards. But that, that college, them college scouts is telling you, you're not a D1 player. Mm-hmm. You got 15 and 15, but you're undersized. It's like, and it's also like, I feel like even shit like that, it's like you have to earn it. You mm-hmm. have to earn everything. Like, even if you average 25 in high school, you go to college, nah, you're not you're going to earn it. And that's that's kind of the reason why I didn't want to like continue to play basketball after college and shit like that. Because mm. I could have played in the Philippines. They asked me. They was like, "You want to play in the Philippines?" And I know niggas that that I used to play basketball with. That is like I ain't gonna name drop niggas, but it's like they're playing in the Philippines. Yeah. And it's like I know they they're good, but I'm like I'm just as good. So I'm like, it's just like I don't want to have to like I'm not gonna lie. Like everybody loves like the the dream of like playing college basketball, college sports, and all that shit. Like playing basketball at the highest level but over time you just learn that it's like it's not what it's up to be all the time like it's it's like you really gotta like it's it's hard but like i i've there's been days where i was like i didn't want to go to practice but i had to like lock in like i'm talking about i had to lock in from 12 p.m practice start at four i had to start the i had to start the this is what i used to do i usually get out of class and maybe the latest i got out of class was like maybe two during the time but after i got out of class i wouldn't get i wouldn't eat nothing because I don't want nothing in my stomach, so I would pause. I would um, I used to I used to go to the gym, get shots up, get shots up, and then after I get shots up, I'll probably shoot for like maybe an hour. I'll probably just like you know just shoot around, wait till because shoot around usually starts like thirty minutes before, mm-hmm. and niggas start coming in. So I just be shooting with them, and there'd be times in practice like before practice starts, I'd be like 
like my hands be shaking because I didn't eat nothing. Oh. And like I always, I always had to get like a pro, like a granola bar and like a Gatorade right before practice start just to eat it, just so I like I calm myself down and like so I can be normal. And it's just like I never, for, I always tell my fr- like like y'all niggas and the niggas I work with, I never had a normal life from eighth grade till maybe last year because mm-hmm. every every day after school always had practice even after season i had au practice summer i had basketball camps like i never really like when y'all used to hang out after school like when the bell rang y'all used to be like yo darius like why don't you go hang out with us make the yeah. videos with chris like i was like nah i got i got track practice i got basketball practice like, i never really got to like like i always was waiting for this bro mm-hmm. just to live life as a normal student yeah just chill like people think like it's just like like bro darius didn't even start playing video games he was like 18 bro i really didn't like <laughs> i really didn't like i played like i played video games a lot when i was in seventh grade but like mm-hmm. I stopped because I, I had to. I want to like play sports. Like mm-hmm. it's a really a big ass commitment, bro. Like it's really like it's not built for like everybody not built for this. Mm-hmm. Like my little cousin, he play, he about to play at NJCU, and I told him I'm like, yo, like you gotta realize like you're not like I know you love you love playing basketball, but now are you gonna love playing basketball under these circumstances? Mm-hmm. You know, like you're gonna there's gonna be days that you're not gonna want to do your work or you're not gonna want to practice or your body gonna be hurting. You're playing against grown men, mm-hmm. especially at NJCU. Like me. I was a little Boy, fortunate. Boys be 25 they be 27, <laughs> 28. Like, they I'm fortunate to be playing with niggas that's like 23, 24, but I'm still 18. They still got a couple years. Mm-hmm. Like, 22, 23, they still got a couple of years older than me. But it's like, I was, I used to dread going to practice every day, freshman year. I used to hate it every day because I didn't know what, it, what was going to happen. Yeah. I didn't know if he was going to run. I didn't know if I, like, if I do ass, like, they're gonna, he going to kick me out or whatever. Like, I just always had, like, just that mental focus. Like, I didn't want to continue doing that. Like, especially in, like, a whole other country in the Philippines where I'm not used to. And then, like, if Jay moves with me, like, we're all going to, it's like, we're living in a whole new but, area. But, like, the same time, right? So, we were talking about before, you had a you had a, a role model. You had your guidance. You had your dad. Yeah. So you had a, uh, you have a basketball player like me. Mm-hmm. Who didn't have nobody in front of me yeah. who played basketball. Uh-huh. So now you also have my ego and my arrogance. Yeah. So I'm feeling like I don't even need to practice. Nobody's uh-huh. telling me that you need to be in that gym and you need to be working and your natural talent to a certain point doesn't matter. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like to a certain point is how hard you're working, is how how hard you're willing to work. Yeah. Ain't nobody tell me that shit. They're just like, yo, go be good at basketball. Go show ah, up. Ah, so it's like a different like mindset and it's shit? It's a different mindset that I'm going in. Yeah. I'll go to a tryout or a team and feel like, shit, nigga, I'm the best nigga here. Or I'm one of the best here. Like, cause, or you're the best player here. I could guard him. Yeah. I know what you mean. Because I think with me, the reason why I do it, like, worked out so much is because, like, I always, like, for me, the biggest thing for me is, like, respect, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I want respect outside basketball. In basketball, I always want niggas to look at me like, yo, like, this nigga is not ass. Mm. So I always work at it till, to the point where it's like, there'd be days where I'm so bad, and it would piss me off because it's like, I, you know what? You know whose fault it is? I remember Michael Jordan said, he was like, he always had to be good. He he never, like, took a day off. He never, he always had to be good in his games because there's always one person that's watching him that never watched him play before. So it's like his tryout for that person. Be like, all right, this is the first time you're watching me. I got to make sure you think I'm good by the time you leave. And that's why I always thought in my mind, especially when I go to the parks. When I used to go to play in the parks at Jersey with Jay and all of them, and they'd be like, the first couple of times, the first time I went there, like, you got to hoop out. Now they know me. But then there'd be new niggas that come try to step on the court. court, I'm like, who are these new niggas? I I used to be like that too. Like, I would. So, you know, niggas do that, that paint work, right? Yeah, yeah. So. It's straight paint work if it's somebody people like I don't know around. Yeah, it's straight guard work. I I wear the holes like uh, yeah uh, until I start feeling it from then I work my way out. But that I feel like that's that's everybody though. Like you think so? Yeah, hell yeah. Anybody who who liked the hoop, that's you. Yeah, new niggas come around, you got to show out so they don't think you Mm ass. Like right now, I'm in a space of basketball where. I could not have a crazy run or a crazy game, and I don't care. Yeah, because y'all niggas know what I've done before. That's what I'm y'all saying. Know what I do. I so. think that that's that was the one thing I was like, I had to get over. Like yeah. that was the one thing I was afraid like I wasn't gonna get over. Like I was gonna keep working out because I, was, I just it took wanted a while. to. But like yeah. I had to realize that you know, 
Like even even Jay sees it. Like when I like when I want to when I see niggas play basketball, she just sees it on my face. Like I just want to show niggas like they ass. They ass like my yeah, thing, yeah. I want to show them like like they think like oh my god, he's like because like there be niggas that's ass. They think they nice. I'm like yo, you really suck. Nah, I be want to show them that they really nah, I suck. Know, sometimes I'd be like about twenty pounds lot. I lock that shit up. Nigga. That's what I'm saying. And you ain't going no. Bro, I told like I told <laughs> niggas on the pod before nowhere. when I came back from the cruise, bro. When mm. I was on the cruise, there was niggas hoop. I'm like yo, these niggas really suck. Mm. And I wanted to like and then all the people was like watching them and gassing them. I'm like yo, like, ooh, and yeah. the, it, and. It's crazy because I was like, like I want to show you, like you suck. suck yeah, I really yeah. want to show you, you suck for real. Mm-hmm. But it's like I got, like I had to like let go of that and just be like, you know what? I play so for like, fun. So like even like the last time we was playing basketball, and Ta Ta cooking me. Yeah, I came in front like Ta Ta was cooking me, but it's like I know myself. Yeah, that me and Ta could go at it. Yeah, like when we're hooping, even though Ta. Ty in the gym all the time. Uh-huh. But I know myself that me and Ty could go back and forth. Yeah. But that's not happening right now. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. That's not happening right now. I had to catch myself. Me too, yeah. I'm almost like, yo, fuck this nigga. Like, feel yeah. me? And I can't. But it's like, yo, UJ, you don't play basketball anymore. Like, that was the first time I played basketball all year, almost. Yeah, me too. So I ain't like, gonna lie. I can't really get mad. He in the gym all the time. Yeah. But I told Ty, hey, give it two months. <laughs> and we play one on one. I'm gonna bust your ass. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was pretty proud of myself. Cause I was, I, I wasn't that tired. Nah, I, think I was tired as fuck. I was that tired. Bro. Like, I was good. I, I told you that stepper, bro. That shit helps your legs, Yo, up, bro. bro. After the first, so I know you remember the first play. I come down between between side step, shoot over time. Yeah. After that, niggas <laughs> <laughs> was playing. I was full done, court, bro. Hey, y'all niggas try to run back and forth. Shit, crazy, I'm bro. I'm done. So, but, I ain't gonna lie, that day was a wake-up call, too, though. Yeah. It was kind of like a, yo, you gotta get get back in shape. You Type shit, bro. Shape. But, like, it was like yeah, that's what I'm saying. And it's like, like back on the other thing, like, the whole overseas shit, like, I know, like, that's the one, that's the one reason why I didn't want to play. It's because, like, I didn't want to have to prove, I didn't want to, like, it's a lot of mental strain that I had to oh, learn, bro. Sure. Like, I didn't want to have to go to another country and prove myself again, bro. I don't like, I don't like that feeling no more. Like, I used to enjoy, like, like I love competing, but then I just didn't, like, the, ha- like, I always used to have, like, the nerves, like, what if I do ass? Mm. And I just never, like, thinking like that no more. Like, especially so, now. So, that, that thought, right, would be in my mind, so it would limit my game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, I would turn into big man. Yeah. Right away. By passing. Because you can't do wrong rebounding, and going, going up, up uh-huh. by, uh, turning, you know what I'm saying, stop. You can't do wrong. You yeah. really can't do too much wrong. Yeah. So now I'm snagging every board, giving it to the nigga that want to shoot all the all the balls. So now he my friend now. Type now shit. best player my friend. But I really could do what he's doing. Yeah. I really could come down between. Ooh, I really could let it go. Type shit, bro. But I'm feeling like I don't want to fuck up for next I get you. Mad, so I get me. you. Like it's really it's really hard to. It was really hard to like let go of that, especially. Cause even like Jay sees me all the time. Like she always said, like she would be like, "Yeah, you got you got to work out to go play like in the Filipino league lot now." But I'm like, "Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to I don't I, have to I do that no more." I am going to make one more return to basketball. I don't know if I. I, don't, I I'm might. Play, I'm gonna play in one more basketball league. No, nah, I don't know if I'm playing the league. I might just do like open gyms and shit. shit no, nah, I'm gonna do one more. I, one more league. Cause I just like even like every time I play ass, it just, it just ruins my day. I just don't yeah, like feeling it. Does. Like, it it, it does. ruins my day, and I just. I just, I you hate just be it, thinking like, yo, back in the day, man. Not even really, back in the day. I just be like, damn, like I could have done way better. Way better. No, but that's what I'm saying. My shit come from like, yo, bro, a couple years ago, I would have never missed that shot. Type shit, bro. A couple years ago, I would have never. Like, I feel like my drop off was a little bit after we came back from Cali. Like, really? Like, when we went into quarantine. Yeah. And I didn't play basketball anymore. Yeah. Or Cali. No, Cali was 21. Yeah, a little bit after. <laughs> So it was like, yeah, even when we went into quarantine, niggas stopped hooping and then uh-huh. it just, I don't know, after that it just kind of yeah. went away. I, and then I'll have like spurts of like, yo, I'm killing everybody. Type shit. It's like, I, I tell Fritz, I told niggas on the game before, like, I'm at, I'm at peace with myself. Like, yeah, I, don't, for sure. I don't like, I don't got the urge to hoop no more. Like, of course, I go in the bat when I go pick up a basketball, like, I get a couple shots and get sweating. But yeah, it's, it's like, really, it's really on and off, bro. Yeah. It's you're, like, you're entering my, the stage I'm in is what you're yeah. entering. Yeah. I, I enjoy this, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, I feel yeah. like, like, y- like, y'all young kids right now, like, I know a lot of y'all young kids listen to us and watch us. Like, y'all might be playing sports and y'all want to go play college. Like, I'm telling y'all, it's great. It's fun. But it's, it's fun knowing. That people know that you're good at what you do because you made the team, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But 
over time, it just starts, you start realizing, like, yo, like, it's not all that. It's, like, it looks cool on the outside looking in, but the work you got to put in to get there oh, yeah. is a lot of work. And you really, like, I really, I really realized, like, when you said, I remember you told me, he was like, nah, Daz, you really a bot. Like, I really, like, <laughs> like, I, I don't really. I keep saying that. I don't say that like, forever. Like, because. You're, you're unbotting, though. Like, you're that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, like, I was, like, I was really lost. Like, I was really just straight. Like, I used to be, like, thinking, like, did niggas think my person I was just straight basketball? Yeah. Like, niggas used to think, like, is that what niggas thought of me? No, nah, it was, bro. And niggas like, see me with this podcast. He's like, oh, now this. So you're around a bunch of people, right? A bunch of friends who are characters. Yeah. Right? And then you're basketball. I'm the basketball. Yeah, nigga. you're the basketball. I'm just guy. a nigga that who. Yeah, that's 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 what it was. Where it's like, there's a couple of us that play basketball too. Yeah, but we wasn't that's just basketball. That's what I'm saying. Like we had our hands in different shit. Like I, like y'all like Jason, and Chris, and then they all they uh, they all watch anime and shit like yeah. that. You, Fritz, and them they all love, like y'all like watching superheroes and shit. Yeah. I didn't know none of that because growing up, all I did was hoop. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. All I did was hoop. I never I never watched no anime. I never watched no. Even if I did, I forgot. Like yeah, I don't nigga, remember. I ain't never watched that. I ain't gonna front. But like you watched watch all the superhero movie. shit. Like I be yeah, watching yeah. all this shit now. I'm rewatching Young Justice right now again. That's good shit, bro. That's some good shit, yeah. bro. But it's like I never re- like like right now. I'm like experiencing all that shit. And it's like back then when I was a kid, it's like everything that shaped me was just basketball. Man, I really wish right that I had somebody in front of me when it came because naturally. I was always very gifted at basketball, naturally, like from a kid. Like uh-huh. I was like four years old, able to shoot, because, you know, mighty man. Uh-huh. So I was four years old, able to shoot a 10-foot rim. Yeah. So that was, like, amusing to my family, and that's <laughs> what, like, made me go with basketball. Because it yeah. was soccer first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like, see, niggas, don't, I just gave y'all a drop. Y'all don't even know that. I'll cook your favorite soccer player. <laughs> was really soccer player first. Like, Weekway Park, I would go there every single Friday uh-huh. with my dad and play soccer uh-huh. and then it switched to basketball but anyway i really like if it was soccer my dad would have pushed you to be yeah. i get you but he don't know nothing about no basketball i get you so i think he don't know what to show me or tell me he just like i go think play i remember i'll never forget my dad always there was a point in my life where my dad looked at me i was like a little older he was like you know i've taught you all i i could teach you now mm. and it's like you i gave i taught you everything that you know now there's not more that you should know. Everything else, like skill wise, that it's all up to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he taught me like how to shoot. The fundamentals. Taught me all the fundamentals. He's like, that's all I could that's all I am here to do. Girl, the fundamentals I learned from D Wade on TV, bro. It was a a video or like a little sixty second thing, like a commercial. Yeah. It called Beef. Beef? Yeah. It oh. was a pause. Crazy work. Yeah. <laughs> It was called beef. So beef was kind of it was like bend, elbow, something, and then follow through. Yeah. I don't remember what it, I don't even remember what beef was. Pose, but that's how I learned how to ah shoot. I get you. So I was like, oh, okay, this is how. That's why my form looks the way it does. I get what you mean because he said literally do this. Huh. You so do catch I don't, like I don't have a. I don't put. I don't have a push shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally like a free throw. From, jump shot. Yeah, free throw jump shot. I get shot. what you mean. But I will say, like, because I'm now that I'm older, I'm more open and more realistic about things. my basketball career. Of course, you yeah. Me? You start realizing, like, you're not going <laughs> to Yo. be in the league. If You're going to realize you're not going to be in the league by sophomore year of high school. I'm not going to yeah, lie. Real shit. Nah, real shit. <laughs> or so it's kind of like, so now I feel like I feel like ranting my basketball career. So now it was like, I didn't take basketball even that serious. Because of my ego and because of not having nobody to sit there and push me. Uh-huh. So it was like freshman year, I failed off the team. Yeah. And they're looking at me like, yo, you could actually be pretty. They don't know me, but they're looking like, yo, from getting to know me from them practices, they're like, yo, you yeah. could be something. Yeah. Sophomore year, I do the same shit. Mm-hmm. So it was like, damn, how you let your arrogance get in the way i'm like bro they need me bro they don't got no they don't got no big like that's really in my mind <laughs> like these niggas gonna lose without me like Type they shit. don't got no big there they don't got nobody who really work who uh-huh. really be on that court like that's really crazy shit there. that is crazy really bro. in my mind like these niggas need me mm, that's so crazy me, but and when i look at my game right yeah i never it hasn't changed since the eighth grade really so as, i've, I've always changed. been poised 
since a kid. Yeah. So I I was always a little better than everybody. Or not even a little bit. A lot of people, more people are not like eighth grade. Uh-huh. I was better than because I understood the, like footwork and rebounding and shit like that before yeah. everybody. My, then, my game really changed, up. bro. When oh, yeah, I was in high sure. school, from I when, was nigga from when we first started playing your game has changed, bro. I was like, I was just a shooter. I wasn't that quick. Mm-hmm. I remember. I <laughs> I don't know. I, you know what? I always it fucked me up. I will never forget. I remember niggas used to say I never passed the ball. Mm. Niggas never used to say, I'm like, Still I never, pass that bit. bro, but I never understood because it was like, and there, there would be certain times where I, I, I would be wide open. I would never, I, would, I wouldn't shoot it mm. because I, would, I would always remember like niggas want me to pass the ball. I always like to cater to niggas. I think that's yeah. what fucked me up a lot. Oh, yeah. But like high school, I wasn't, I wasn't always like athletic or bigger or like fast. So like I was just mostly spot up shooting nigga and like I would dribble a little bit. But then once I got to college. Well, that's what's really crazy. I never played point guard a day yeah, in my college, life. college, they told you you was a point guard. Yeah, they told me. They was like, and you know where I learned it from? Just yeah. bringing the ball up from playing with y'all niggas. Yeah. Like, well, just, that's elite. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I never brought the ball up nowhere else but, like, just playing, like, at uh, Beer Temple mm-hmm. or at the parks or whatever. Maybe, like, with the Filipino leagues I play, I might bring the ball once in a while. But, like, I, ne- I never bring the ball up in high school. I never brought it up in AAU. Mm-hmm. But, like, I would just, and then in college, he just told me, he was like, all right, you're just going to run the point. I'm just like, and then once I learned that, I just had to, like, work on my dribbling a lot more mm. and it's just like i learned and i feel like it was like i never played a position so like i'm always taught like especially when i learned how to get like faster i always learned one speed but i never knew how to change speeds change speed. until yeah, like they used to say that about you so from from my from watching your game right from when we first met you was one of the first people i've seen be explosive yeah right so when I played basketball, it was strong and light. That made any sense? Like, yeah. I'm gonna hit you hard and then finish lightly. Finish lightly. Yeah. But you would hit hard, finish strong, go like go up strong, and like this. Yeah. And it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, cause you look at you, and it's like catfish. Yeah. Like you don't look as strong as you are. Like I'm telling niggas, like there's a surprise. I am the mightiest man you ever see. But dares to go right through me with a basketball. <laughs> He'll go through me with a basketball. Like I've seen him go through anybody and everybody, the and beer, it throw and it throw niggas off. The beer temple days, bro. The beer temple days, <laughs> like the beer the beer temple days was the most funnest time of basketball. There was when niggas would be there seven p.m. We temple, pull up temple at seven. Temple at seven, funnest time of basketball in my life, bro. I was that was great. That, that was, was great. Great times, like niggas really going at it. Niggas really just having fun, bro. Yeah, that was a good time. We'll play until like what ten? That's 10 when lights turn off. We'll play until the lights go out, bro. That was great times, bro. But like I was saying, like first person to really see explosive, like because a lot of people, like kids, don't get it. Yeah. To be explosive when you're going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I still didn't. I didn't get. I, was, I mean, it's gotten too late. Not too late now, but I don't know no more. Uh-huh. But it's if I would have understood that concept of going up strong, uh-huh. like for real, like new. Your, your coach would be like, go up strong. Yeah. But you just think, throw your body at him. Nah. No. Be <laughs> strong and be firm and, huh. Yeah. Nigga. It took, it took a, I ain't gonna lie, it took a lot of like, you gotta like really, once you see it going once from doing it, then you realize, you like, realize okay, yeah. now you, you can keep doing it. you got stick on goal, so you be gone. Yeah. Bro, I, told, I get that from my dad, bro. My dad was always like that, but I was just not as tall as my dad. Oh, that, my yeah. dad was the same nah, way. If you, for sure though, like, it will be like situation because like, I like I said we 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 a little dumb so yeah. we can admit it now type shit. It'd be situation was like yo, if Darius was my height, it's over for me. <laughs> I'd be saying, bro, I if really... Darius my height and my size, it's over for me. Like it'll be games where I know I got you because I'm bigger than you and taller than you. Yeah, yeah. But if I wasn't, it's over. Because <laughs> there'll be times where like I'm bringing the ball up the court. This nigga Darius, but this nigga Darius just came fresh from practice early this week, guarded me full court. I know. So it's like the only reason I'm able to get up this court is because I'm big, yeah. And I could just turn my body and push you back a little bit and get up past this half court line. Type shit. But nigga was hitting with it. I'm like, ah, oh, boy. Those, are, those bro. are good times, bro. Great times, bro. Dang, bro. We'll never get those years back. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we will, right? Because these once the people get right. God willing, to, you know, when the podcast blows up, the YouTubers and shit, they have nothing but free time. Type shit. So if we have, if we have nothing but free time, I mean, it's just starting to get back in the hoop. A little yeah, bit. he is. We're I'm gonna, glad. I'm glad to see him. I got caught, yeah. nigga. I think I, yeah. been, I texted him. 
to a couple days ago. No, today. I lied. Today. I text. I, I try to call me to answer. I got to call yeah. that nigga. But, hey, if you're watching um, this ish, answer your phone, bro. Because you do be watching random podcasts. He is. But I was like, uh, what was I saying? I forgot. What about, um, oh, the nigga is like hooping? Like when we get, when we up for oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the podcast? So podcasts go up. I, I'm jacking that we'll we'll start playing basketball again. Type shit. We'll see. Like we'll see. If when we have less things to do, uh huh, I think we'll start playing basketball again. We'll see. And I'm and I'm saying the only thing for me, right? Yeah. When it comes to basketball, like naturally, I think I'm very gifted when it comes to basketball. Uh huh. Because like you know, I eat some Chinese food, come to the runs, and I'm going stupid. I think this is weird. <laughs> you know? I'm going stupid. So it's like if I was to actually put. Time, time, and yeah. the proper effort into it, I think, and maintain my confidence when playing. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people can stop me. We'll see, bro. God, so, will. God willing, this shit blow up and we get like a court where we could play every day. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, bro. You got any predictions for the next till the end of the year? Where we gonna be at? Uh, we are we at twenty four k on Instagram, uh, five hundred fifty seven thousand on YouTube, and no on TikTok, and I think we just hit eight k on YouTube. You got any uh, predictions? So after after today, it's probably gonna blow up a little bit more. Okay, okay. Because I just graced this podcast, <laughs> so it's probably going you're probably gonna jump up a, a bit, like two thousand more. Two thousand on what? Yeah, on the gram. On the gram, so twenty six thousand. Twenty six, bro. So by the end of the year, what what number you think we're gonna have? On the gram, thirty five. Thirty five k. Yeah. Okay. How about YouTube by the end of the year? YouTube, eleven twelve. Eleven twelve. Yeah. And then t- uh, TikTok. TikTok is not it's moving slow. I feel like everybody who found us found us kinda. That's yeah. what it's looking like. Mm-hmm. Uh so I'm gonna go with six. Six hundred? Yeah. That ain't six, too bad. Six hundred, six twenty five. That ain't too bad. Six twenty five the max. Six hundred the minimum. That's cool. That's good. That's good. But yeah. thank you again for pulling up, my brother. Of course, of course. Of course. No, another great podcast, you know what I'm saying? If y'all new to the channel, subscribe down below. Follow us if you wanna follow us and talk to us. Hit our DMs, join the Discord. We be playing 2K all the time. If you want to watch us play 2K, you want to listen to all the chats that we talk about in 2K, we'll, we got to start going in the, in the – because we be on, in our in our yeah, own Discord. Yeah, yeah. Because Corey made it to where, like, we can be in the chat and nobody could join, but they can listen to us. Okay, yeah, that's right. So I'm we like, could do that. Yeah, yeah, so if you want to join in and listen to the talks that we have on the game and shit like that, join the Discord, no regular Discord. Um, new content coming soon. Join the Patreon if you want more content. And things of that nature. And, uh, yeah, you got anything else you want to say, brother? Uh, shout out to my man, Drew, bro. I told him I was going to shout him out. Okay. I seen him in the club the other day. But uh, shout out my man, Drew, you know what I'm saying? Wait, he watched the podcast? Yeah. And he walked up to you and said, like... Nah, we were just talking, like... We like, did you know up, him like, before? Yeah. Oh, wait, Drew who? Um, If you see him, you'll know him. Like, Drake. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Nigga's sick, bro. It's but. Drake. We different than regular, no records, man. Gangster. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it.